not fucking with you niggas Y'all been shaky like some strippers What's in my cup? Boy, I'm off that liquor Looking at me crazy Get you hit up with that flipper I'm not fucking with you niggas Y'all been shaky like some strippers What's in my cup? Boy, I'm off that liquor Looking at me crazy Get you hit up with that flipper I'm not fucking with you niggas Don't care if y'all fuck with me All up on the nigga pace Trying to keep up with me All in private talking down But they know what's up with me In my presence show respect Before that shit get ugly I had some pussy niggas I had to cut off what it is, what it ain't. It's your boy Low Key V. And it's your main man K3. And it's me, Mocha Banks. And this is Paid and Bays. Hey, that's two episodes in a row. You ain't say the Paid and Bays. Like, what you switch your sides or some shit? What you want? <laughs> Listen. I had to get on y'all the other episode. Y'all energy. It's not got this mic. Like, I couldn't. He came with the energy today. Fucking yeah. B- Barry White talk about energy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it, man. So as y'all can see, we got two special guests today, man. Two very special guests. If you tapped in in the city, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm saying. You know these young men, but I'm gonna go ahead and introduce them. So we got Dumar One K. Give it up for Dumar. And we got Swank Mike, man. Swank Mike. Swank Mike. So we got two buzzing artists is making. You know what I'm saying. Making noise in the city. How y'all boys feeling? I'm solid. Man. It's great. Okay. okay. I'm hanging. I'm just blessed. Bless blessed to be here. Yeah. Blessed to be here. That's it. Blessed to be in this position. Well, oh, that boy, artist mode. He done. <laughs> he done switched it up quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm just blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be yeah. here. You that's know. it. Ble- <laughs> blessed and highly favored. <laughs> yeah. That's real. That's it's real. Black History Month too, man. We've been trying to make this link up happen for a minute too. We've been, we've been like, yeah, we need Dumont on the show. Yeah. The you devil was saying? busy too. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. trying to not make this shit happen. Nah, for sure. Yeah. It be, it be, it be him. <laughs> yeah. Nah, for sure. I appreciate that. You know, I, I, I told like um like I told her I uh, been fucking with y'all podcast. So I like the content y'all put out for real. Yes, you know sir, what I'm saying? Sir. We appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. And we got we got Swank. Yeah, most deal. Swank Mike. Swank. What's up, man? Swank really like PNB fam. You know what I'm saying? I I know bro behind the scenes. Yeah. He be supporting the pod. Real sure. good nigga. Tied in with my people, so I fuck with Swank. Yeah. We was in the we we was in the club with uh. Hey, don't, don't talk about it. <laughs> I'm talking about down there passed out. Man. Yeah, he was in that yeah. bit. You, you gonna sit down, bro? I'm gonna have at it, bro. CL9. We had like three sessions. Like yeah, that. we was CL9. all yeah. turned. We was turned. Cap. We was turned. But, nah, I'm really happy to have both of y'all here. I think both of y'all are doing great things with y'all music. I felt like y'all would be the perfect two to have on at the same time because everybody know Do My Making Noise. Like, yo, mm-hmm. your music go crazy. You got to popping buzz in the city so ain't my you on Florida and, up. and I feel like y'all mo- both make great music but y'all got two different sounds mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so it ain't like a conflict of interest or anything mm-hmm. and just like you told me too you fuck with bro music you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying sure. so yeah. Sure. yeah I appreciate that for a minute I, ain't gonna count. I used to see him freestyle um and that, that was shit I was doing at the same time so yeah. I, I remember all that shit I was like yeah it's good to see people I ain't no hater, bro. Like you doing good, you doing your thing. I'm gonna beat you up because nah, it's hard. Sure. It's hard enough for us. You feel me? Yeah. Nah, especially in the city though. Because I'm gonna be real. Like, <clears throat> like I was telling y'all, like I fought with that shit. Like you feel me? He got a voice. You feel me? So like with me, I'm all about like y'all don't even know. Like I really used to be like on into like I'm into like every genre, bro. EM, singing, pop. R and B is crazy, like mm-hmm. real shit. Got a song with Skrillex. I don't even know if y'all Skrillex know. is crazy. Skrillex. I got a song with Skrillex. Got a song with Skrillex. Got a song with Skrillex. Yeah. Got a song That's with Skrillex. crazy. Um, shout out Skrillex. Uh, it's like that's that festival in this city shit. though. Like all jokes aside, when, when he was saying, the, um, I ain't no hair like the, that right there. Um, it's hard in Jacksonville. You feel me? And it's like a lot of people understand. Like everybody that's up, like from Jacksonville that blue, all us start rapping around the same time. I kind of took my own path from everybody, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? No disrespect, nobody come up. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's like, I be like, bro, it's like, my manager, this nigga be like, bro, you like, bro, I'm pretty for real. Like, bro, you was picked <laughs> last, bro, and you just finna win it all. Like, you gonna be the yeah, biggest. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, I don't take like to that because it's like, on the real, nobody ain't never respect my music because I actually made real music. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And 
it's hard when you make real music in a city that wants to hear Bullshit. drama. Yeah. 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 Which is cool, you know what I'm saying? Kudos, because you figure yeah. out for Jacksonville, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to stand behind the city regardless. Mm -hmm. It's Jacksonville over everybody, so people fail to realize. But I don't be on that type of shit, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. He'll tell real. you, bro, nigga paid me 1500 when I first, it was like two years ago, nigga paid me 1500 did a song on the drill beat. He said somebody name. I sent nigga his money back in the song. I said, bro, I don't be on that. Damn, yeah. Yeah. I don't be and, on that. Being a stand up nigga like that would take you a long way mm -hmm. instead of just riding waves. Yeah. We just talked about that with Cash. Yeah, we just talked about that with Young Cash. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And, nah, for and, shit, and sure. that's going to take you longer and it's, it's going to make your relationships in the industry better and things like that. So I think that's that's that's, I that's a good Demar thing. I met him in the studio and like he was just in there going. And mm -hmm. It was a session. He had us coming in. <clears throat> And like it was just all good vibes. I could tell. I was like, he can articulate well. I want to have him on the pod. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing too. Like, I did my. We do our uh, research on everybody. Who do your homework. Go yeah. do my do one your game. Homework. Oh, yeah. For real. It hit different when you yeah. do my new one. <laughs> you yeah, over whooping. Let's 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 let let, I let seen start them on other, <laughs> other podcasts and like he could read the politics. Like, nah, yeah. Sure. yeah, we got one of the ones. Mm -hmm. you know what's what's crazy is it's funny because like like twenty eighteen. 19 like mm -hmm. i was like on some real lyricist type time mm -hmm. and that's when i seen him and this is crazy because not a lot of people know a lot of these artists that do blow you hear that that style not necessarily switch but they kind of get Dumb it to it a down. point where they can market it yeah started off really rapping, rapping. Yeah. and that's how i followed them like say yeah. i was doing the same type yeah. thing yeah. so Dumb it down, yeah. you know mm -hmm. over the years it's like okay i gotta figure out a way to where people still gonna listen i can grasp that grasp their attention mm -hmm. at the same time so i could tell like buddy really put in ten thousand hours of work you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying me too like I, I really had to master my crowd mm -hmm. before i got like okay i'm just gonna i'm just gonna push forward so yeah uh, mm -hmm. it's, like, it's about the couch yeah. i'm gonna be real though like Niggas don't understand, bro. I really... Oh, here you go. Shout out to Peyton Bates. Shout out to R.A.O.P. for this right here. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> Real love. This shit. You feel me? Yeah. You feel me? But, um... Yeah, shout out to S.P. Alone. <laughs> S.P. Alone. Reppy Sato. Reppy Sato make her fuck. Reppy Sato make her fuck. He rappy, though. Remember that. He rappy, though. Nah, but, um... Uh yeah, with the lyrics and shit, bro. I used to be like into some real like yep. on some shit where it's like appreciate it. On some shit where it's like I'm saying shit that's going over niggas' heads. Yeah, yeah, like, for sure. Shit that's making niggas say, but you don't get that? So you that's what you call that's what you call bars. Bars. though. Like, are you signed yet? Um so I can't uh, put the SB alone right there so we won't get trademarked <laughs> look um i have been doing it for a while but uh, I'm, I'm gonna get to i'm gonna get to that question right now i have been doing it for a while but i always lost my instagrams like i'm on instagram number six <laughs> this yeah. shit is crazy Stay calm down page, bro yeah. Yeah. You put the pussy lips so loud yeah, right. Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> correct the <laughs> window <laughs> that's what I be doing I be doing shit like that like I used to like I used to have shit like twerk competitions bro mm -hmm. and my oh, shit used man. to go in like four you can ask him four five hundred viewers and niggas would text me hey bro my baby mama's on your live bro I'm like <laughs> okay hey, and then Boom, next day pay is gone. Oh, yeah, like, oh, oh, you know I'm like, you, like, you sour Sally. You a you a sour ass <laughs> nigga. I be mad as fuck. No. But now I'm on page six. I've been being a good boy. Like I ain't yeah. been doing nothing. Um <laughs> with the sign thing, it's like, I'm gonna be real. I didn't I had so much shit going on. And I was supposed to sign back in 2020. But I had lost my grandma. I got shot and I lost my little sister Christ. And it. it was just so much shit. So like I was so much in my head, I said, fuck rap. I said, mm -hmm. fuck rap. I'm finna get out that bit and just try to do something else. Nigga went to go work at Domino's. I'm at the nigga saying, I'm finna be a positive nigga and then they go flip pizzas. That's what I did. That's what I was doing. So I was like, nah, this ain't it. So yeah. man, I, I start, you know. Doing your thing. We on the camera. Yeah. yeah. So I started, you know what I'm saying? I was doing your thing. Right. So then um, got into a situation. Got into, correct. Got into a situation. Um, my dog went up the road, and you know, um, freedom too. I ain't gonna say that, but um, got in this situation, and it's like it was weird, bro. It's like I had a dream. This was like late 2021. I had a dream, and my sister came back in my dream, and like I was talking to her, but she couldn't hear me. I was talking to her, but she couldn't hear me, 
And I was screaming. I'm screaming her name. She couldn't hear me. And she was like, you need to go to the studio. And I woke up. I swear to God. On everything I love. After that, I was like, yeah, I ain't stopping no more. Yeah. Sometimes that's what it takes. So um, with the signing thing, I mean, it's three labels I'm interested in right now. I'm trying to see if I'm going to make the decision. Um, Some nice offers and shit. I'm still just trying to see if I'm going to make the decision. I'm still just doing my own thing right now. Now, on the real, like... Being that you've made the progress that you've made without a label so far, do you sometimes just think about staying independent? Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah, I was going to um, ask you what you feel like the, the benefits is right. to signing. A lot of people say, okay, so look, I'm going to tell you all this, and then I'm going to give y'all an example. A lot of niggas preach independency. Mm-hmm. No one's independent, bro. Facts. Dolph was not independent. Mm-hmm. Dolph had empire. Mm-hmm. Drake was not independent. Drake and Bird, man, bro. It's just like this. A little partnership. And man. I'm going to say it as easy as this for a lot of artists out there. If I sell tires and you sell tires, but you sell a million tires and I sell a hundred, why would I not just partner up with you? You distribute my tires, you get a percentage, and I get a bigger percentage. Mm-hmm. That's all the label is, bro. Yeah. It's a distribution. Mm-hmm. That's it. I'm doing music. You have a wider scale. Why not I distribute through you? And me and you can get a percentage of that. It's simple as fuck. Yeah. So what's up with it? So what's the what you feel like is the difference in between signing a distribution deal mm-hmm. and actually just signing to a label and like a record deal? Yeah. Um, a record deal. I mean, with distribution deal, you still have like okay, we'll pay you to distribute one or two. I just crazy. I do my research on this shit. Do mm-hmm. your research on distribution. So look, um, I, I'm gonna pay you to distribute one or two of your albums. Mm-hmm. Right, um, we'll go for a marketing, whatever. Now signing a record deal is, nigga, you got two years to recruit this right. shit to give me my money. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, it's it's a loan. Loan. yeah, it's mm-hmm. a loan. Everything is a loan. Yeah. A lot of people understand like with music, everything is a loan. But why the fuck? And it's like I don't understand, nigga. Sometimes they be like, oh, nigga, I'm just gonna be independent and da da da. But you're gonna never get through that barrier ever. Yeah. You're gonna never get through that barrier. You're going to never get, nigga, it's going to be Donkey Kong at the top throwing barrels at your ass every time you take a step up. So why not just partner (laughs) up and then boom, figure some shit out. (laughs) Then that way, when you really blow how you, because I always, I already know for a fact, and I say this as humbly as I can, this shit over when they let the door open for me. This shit is done. And everybody know that. Like, if niggas heard about me in the city, niggas know, boy, that nigga do my boy, he get easy. Mm -hmm. Niggas know what it is. So it's like, if niggas had a, the type of confidence like me, nigga, when I get in that door, I'm finna make them money plus me money plus whoever money, and I'm gonna be able to buy my masters back. Mm-hmm. That's the type shit I be. For sure. And, and, and that's why I asked him that because I think a lot of people do preach like independency and don't sign and shit like that. But I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen nothing wrong with a deal as long as it's the right deal because mm-hmm. it gives you the opportunity. And especially if you're not a dumb nigga and you invest your money properly, you, I think people. You need representation. Who, yeah, people who are not good with money. They, that's why they said don't don't do it. Yeah. But I think if you get the right deal, it's worth it. And sometimes, bro, on some real shit, niggas need to sign production deals. Mm. Fuck a distribution deal. Like not fuck a distribution deal, but when you just starting out, bro, go get a production deal. Explain the difference for our viewers. A production deal is like, nigga, we not finna pay you, but we gonna put money into you. Mm-hmm. And what niggas fail to realize is, oh, bro, I wanna get paid. Yeah, you wanna get paid. I'm gonna tell you some shit. It's just like doing hair. Or it's just like doing nails, right? You're going to do what you love until you get great at it. Yep. Mm-hmm. When you get great at it, you will get paid to mm-hmm. do what you love. That's mm-hmm. what niggas fail to realize. When you are when you fall in love with that shit and you cannot live without doing it, yep. you'll get paid to do it. Yeah. I had to figure that shit out. Yeah. See, it's a we know. struggle. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For sure. A lot of the times that it, it, it come with a struggle because like, I've been doing sales for the last three years. So that opened my eyes to a lot of stuff. And I used to see people and I'd be like, oh, I'll rap better than him. I'll rap better. Then I started to realize, like, but he put more work in. That shit don't matter. And he, yeah. and then he put, really don't he put he, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He, yeah. he steady posted. He steady this. So what the thing he said about production deals, that's important, too, because, look, if they'll put money behind you, hey, if they'll put money behind a studio session or a video, well, that's less money that you got to spend, spend out, out your, your pocket. pocket. Yeah. All you got to do is figure out how to promote. Yeah, that's and a nigga put money behind. Yeah. Just, they'll put money behind you on, on that instance, too. So a lot of the times when people get to talking about, well, I ain't going to sign no deal, it's, it's actually smart. Because at the end of the day, they got the connections and you don't. So I mean, you you talking about, niggas, how many I'm in the production deal right now. have you seen that, that, did that, not really sign that did not sign yeah. I'm in a production deal right now, and 
I'm not gonna say who, but shout out to KSK, King State Kings, the label. Shout out to them, bro, cause like it, man, I ain't gonna lie. That nigga do a lot of shit. And he gets so much shit from so many people. Mm -hmm. And he do so much shit. It's like, you ever had that teacher where everybody be like, man, I fucking hate that teacher. And the teacher love you. You be like, what the fuck wrong That's with me him? in every class. <laughs> like, I be like, what? even so, the ones I like skipped. A lot of people, they be like, oh, bro, this, bro, that, bro, this. He's never shown me that side. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Never shown me that side. But sometimes a lot of motherfuckers don't be wanting to put the work. Like, when your work ethic speak for itself, that's when you get the best Facts. out of people. And that's that what shit. I was going to tell you right yeah. now, fam. It's because he told me, bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. You stay busy. Mm -hmm. You stay busy. You stay working. You that shit work. make me want to work. Yeah. Niggas don't understand, bro. Like, it's like, Lord forgive me. I hate a nigga that say, pray about it. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you can't just use prayer. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Faith, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta faith, faith without faith. works is dead. Uh, exactly. Yeah. You got to yeah. put prayer in. You got to work for it. It's like, you think if I say, God, just give me a million dollars, then sit down. No. No, nigga. Pray for a million dollars. Mm -hmm. You might not work. see a million dollars all together, mm -hmm. but if you keep on going, yeah. you're going to look back at your, what the fuck? My business made a million dollars? You might not see a million dollars all together, but you're going to be like, Damn, I made a million dollars. That's one thing I can say about you. You put a lot of work in. Like, mm -hmm. I've been preaching this to, like, you know, younger people around me. Like, talent can only get you so far. You know how many homeless people that's talented that as fuck right fat. now? Yeah. Like, how many crackheads talented Y'all ain't seen that nigga? It's um, not your work ethic. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a nigga rapping to, like, uh, some Detroit shit or whatever. He was homeless. He was raw. Mm -hmm. I, I can't remember what this fuck he said, <laughs> bro. But nigga was so raw. But... He, they put that nigga in the studio. He couldn't deliver in the same type of way. Because it's about work. And do you know how many people that we, we sit and talk about? Like, oh, why they so famous? They not even raw. Like, because they're putting work. They probably right. don't got the talent. They're in relationship. They I'm going to say something, though. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say something, though. As far as, though, with labels on some real shit, um, music has this much about to do with it. Mm -hmm. That shit is a business. Mm -hmm. yeah. And at the end of the day, it is a popularity contest. That's, That's for it. anything, right. business, anything. Niggas always for the men. You probably don't know, but for the men, Odell Beckham. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that nigga was raw in college. Yeah, NFL. Let's be real. He played for the Ravens. That's my favorite team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that nigga was above average. But why are they going to continue to give him the ball? Popular. Continue to let him sell, because bro, that nigga was popular as fuck. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why are we not give this nigga the ball? Why are we not draw plays for him? Mm -hmm. This is this is what's selling the tickets. This is what's selling the jerseys. Yeah. Odell, the nigga had a million followers before he stepped into the mm -hmm. NFL. That's how it's a popularity contest, bro. And, and, and right now we like in an influencer type of uh, phase of social shit. media. Bad. You see his influencers walking yeah. on to play nah, football. Real, it's niggas as influencers Boston walking too. on. Bro, mm -hmm. So I want to I want to yeah. say one thing about manifestation and, and, and faith, right? So a lot of people don't really understand how that truly works. So it start with saying it, then it start with believing it. But when you start believing it here, then it go yeah, here go to your it. mind, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. As soon as it go to your mind, guess what started to happen? Because you believe in it and you're, you you're so in tune, mm -hmm. you, autom you automatically moving in it and mm -hmm. you don't even know it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just believe in it. So you no, start we, taking all the steps. We can we can definitely relate. Like you know That's saying? how this pod shit be. Like, you know what I'm saying? Facts, like, bro. We really believe right. that, like, for one, not only like are we a top podcast, but we do feel like the content that we deliver and the Quality. chemistry and everything yeah. like that, that and the work that we put in, because we really put in work. A lot of people think that, oh, you and your friend, my brother said the other day, niggas have an hour conversation with their dogs about aliens and they feel like let's start a podcast. That's not how this shit nah, goes. That shit, right. This shit a lot of work. Niggas yeah. gonna be on that shit until you post that shit that bitch get 50, 50 views and you ain't gonna do it no more. <laughs> Look. Wait a minute. We not just gonna go back past that. Like, we, what did that nigga say? That nigga said niggas have an hour conversation with their dogs about aliens and they feel like, let's, let's start a podcast. podcast. Yeah, that's real. I ain't gonna count. That's not how that shit go. That's real. That boy is shocked. And he, he it's said, a lot that go behind that's it. That's pretty good. You, know? you can't be mad at a yeah. joke like this. It's yeah. like, you gotta get mad afterwards and be like, man, this nigga got me fucked up. Yeah. But like, right in there, yeah. Like, he said he told his dog. He told his dog like, yeah, nah, bro. My this, this shit work for real. Yeah, nah, and then dude. you gonna do you gonna do all this work and then your shit yeah. fuck around and get fifty views. You gonna be like, I'm done. So yeah. he just he literally just said it, bro. You might not get a million at one time, but you look up and you be like, over oh. time. Same same yeah. thing with sales. I used to have to make fifty phone calls, twenty five tests, twenty five emails every day. I'm like, why I gotta do this? But after a while, after getting told so, so no so much, but still going after it, mm -hmm. I figured out how to skate around that no. And, that's the thing. and then everybody, it turned into a deal. Everybody, it, you know what I'm saying? Fall into you know 
the pretty much working for the man. Yeah. And it's like you put all your time, energy, and your life into somebody else, and you could be doing it for yourself. And it's mm-hmm. just like, like he said, bro, praying without faith is nothing. Facts. And I give it to God, and I pray about it. Usually, I don't even pray for shit. I'm not finna pray for God, make this blow for me. God, give me for the sure. tools. Give me the tools. Give me the tools. Me the tools. Oh, God. God. Me no, the God, lead me. 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 No, God, yeah. lead me yeah. in the right exactly. path. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Niggas want to, yeah. bro. Niggas don't understand, bro. It's oh, like, my is like, on some real strength, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Allow me with shit, people who. Because the devil going to come at you even harder when he see you on that path. So it's mm-hmm. like, you got to armor up. But you can't just think you're going to pray and God going to hand you something. That's not how the world works. That's not how God works. Yeah, so I also want to get into, like, with y'all boys, like, just because I heard both of y'all music, I like, like, like both of how y'all come in and shit like that, pause. But also, I want to see, like, what was some of the influences? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to say it. Cause it's cool. yeah. I the pause did it. The pause yeah. did it. The pause but, did it. But that's my thing. It's, it's been a lot of gay shit yeah. that's been said. I was letting it slide. <laughs> but the pause oh, no, no, no. did it. I was always giving Not. niggas, like, a 10-minute window, and then from yeah. there, yeah. shut the yeah. fuck out. <laughs> but, so, uh, man, look, all right, real shit. Let me say this. All time, I'm going to let you finish. I was in that bit recording with it was me, Skrillex, Beam, and Don Tolliver. That nigga Skrillex said, Yeah, do me, man. I just want you to just go slow and then come super hard and just don't stop. I said, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, that's wild. Oh, no. Look at that man. <laughs> Fuck you, mean, bro. I let, I, let, I let him finish the whole conversation. Five minutes, I said, Skrillex, you forgot to say pause. Please, Sonny, please. That's nasty. Pause. Pause. <laughs> nah, I had Diabolical. To hit, I, I had to hit Young Cash. You said, Young Cash saying some crazy shit. I was like, But he a different generation. <laughs> no, so I don't like, give a fuck. Like, he was actually like, <laughs> He was like, yeah, bro, I really had to like really dig into him, bro. Like, I'm that bit. I let him like, yeah. <laughs> dig into him. No way. But dig like, into him. <laughs> that was like, nah, but this uh, is get back to it. Shout out to you, Yeah, shout out to Cash. Yeah, shout out to Cash. Yeah, yeah, Cash. We fuck with Cash. Just right. to get back into it, though, like, what's some of y'all like influences musically? Why you like, it's people? Like, People music-wise, like music wise, but who's yeah. something like musically that like that's hard to say. Um, it's a little bit of everybody. My mom grew up on like Jill Scott, mm-hmm. me, Erica Badu, so I was listening to that. But then like the first album I ever heard of completely was Kanye Late Registration. So like mm-hmm. my pops had that on the Xbox and he used to play it. Yeah, yeah. That American American uh, gangster, gangster album by Jay Z. By, by Jay Z. Yeah. So For sure. I grew up listening to that. That's one of my favorite Jay Z albums. Yeah, all my cousins were 15, 16, 17 rapping. So then I heard all the Southern rappers too. So it was a little bit of everything, most right. deaf. But then I listened to Gucci Man and you know, yeah. just a little bit of everything, bro. It's, yeah. it's like gumbo. Yeah. Put it all in one pot and then you, know, you, you put your own style uh-huh. to it. You feel me? So, but yeah. It's not a rapper. It was my uncle. Yeah, my uncle rap like a whole bunch. Like he's raw. Everybody had an uncle that rap. Right? My uncle be so raw as fuck. That Shout nigga my used to be snapping. He was a punchline bro. nigga, wasn't he? What? I'm, 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 like, bro, I'm thinking about what this nigga punchlines in my head right now. Like <laughs> that <laughs> nigga be going. The mongers be punchline oh, no. rappers like crazy. That nigga. I, I want to ask y'all boys what, like, okay, like, cause I used to do music too. And it's like I can remember sixth grade. I first my I wrote my first rap, and I knew, like, okay, this ain't no play play shit. Like I got some. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what was that age when y'all knew, like, okay, I, I I'm talented. Oh like, wait wait, I know we interviewing them, but I want to touch on that. I got to an answer. I was eight years old when I made my first rap. <laughs> yeah, I just got to try. Hold on, who was y'all first? <laughs> who was y'all first rap for real? I feel like yeah, everybody on yeah, the, everybody here rap. was a rapper. Well, yeah, at the yeah, beginning. Was, and what what was the rap? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, I want to. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, funny question because I know mine. I know mine too. I spit my shit right up. What, 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 so, yeah. I, my cousins, they all rap. They had a group named Four Deep, and they used to all rap. But then they had a group named Rippin' Red, and they used to have me in their home studio freestyling with them. Mm-hmm. So I didn't necessarily have a rap. I could just rhyme stuff. What so, age we talking? About? Like five, six. Right. I used to say shit like I know my seven year old rap with the four, four, like little small stuff like that. But it was just to rhyme. They was like, figure out how to rhyme words, and then you can find out placement and mm-hmm. putting stuff there. So my first one was it's it crazy. Was simple. It's crazy because I know when this shit posts, everybody <laughs> finna go and look for this. I had a rap when I was in school, and we had to do it for A's and B's, mm-hmm. and it was called the Power of One. Oh Lord, <laughs> hey, Carter G Woodson, Elementary. Um, it was me, if I can't remember, oh, my homeboy Derek, I don't even remember where the, I don't remember where Derek went, Derek, uh, um, Anna Cook and her sister, um, yeah, it was both of them, 
Um, Larissa <laughs> was in the video. I'm just saying people names because mm-hmm. I don't even. Um, and that shit was by Mr. Martin had direct that bit. Mr. Martin, swear to God, we had that bit. Carter G was, I think I was in the third grade. Mm. Yep. And that shit was. Ooh, yeah, ooh, I was in third grade. Yeah. I was That's how you two first rap. I had yeah. to tell me to shut up. He was like, "Cuz you is not slide." I came back. <laughs> hey, I watched so I watched so many battle rap videos that summer. I came back to school. Oh yeah, you was trying to get in that bag. What? What? I said, hey, yo. No, y'all, I was so excited with mine. Like, my brother put it on the CD player. You know how you had the CD player with headphones? Yeah, facts. I went to school and I started showing everybody, listen to me on the chat. Like, <laughs> no, nah, you, know, you know what's crazy? like that. <laughs> yeah, facts. One of the first niggas that I wrote a rap with was um, Rest in Peace, Butter Double. That was the first nigga I wrote a rap with. That nigga, oh my oh, yeah. God, but it was so hard. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Oh that was my, my like, God. main man the Kenny oh my God. first grade. Race in Paradise, the butter though. Yeah. That nigga was. First nigga I wrote a rap with. That was, oh my God. The shit we doing now, like yeah. motion. That was the first nigga from Jacksonville that like yeah. paid away with motion yeah. rap. Like, oh my R. God. R.I.P. Butter Double, but nah, that's him shit. And, him and AGC Quiz. Okay. Really was like the only two niggas I heard talk doing about motion money. rap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got a track out that's coming with J-Dot, so I want you to talk that's about that. Right. Like, oh, um, That bit stupid. I ain't gonna lie. That bitch gonna be at every club. Mm-hmm. That nigga J-Dot showed me a whole different him. Mm. Didn't say Like just Didn't say nothing like too aggressive He stayed on the topic Money motion holes Like he That nigga so ta- That flow is J-Rod crazy is so fucking talented bro mm. It's crazy Like mm. He's ain't even too. no dick pulling The nigga just mm-hmm. talented And Let's be real bro With drill music It's only a few niggas carrying it And if my opinion, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. In my opinion, J Dot is at the top of that list. That Nick, bro, like I agree. Yeah, his name, yeah, he got yeah. Like, bro, that's only, yeah. bro. This nigga is it, it's crazy because I didn't even know how how world not not well nationwide. This I was just was, gonna say that. Man. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, he. Yeah. I always say the two niggas like when I talk to my people back home or like who spread out or whatever. Like the two people they always mention is Lil Papa. And J Dot, the boys yeah. go crazy. I ain't gonna count. Yeah, they go crazy about Lil Papa. All the street like niggas fuck with J Dot, though. If yeah. Papa was, if Papa, see, but this is the thing, though. Papa is so he he he's a like he, as an artist, he's he has a beautiful craft. Facts. He doesn't miss, mm-hmm. and when he drops, it's worth it. But mm-hmm. he just takes so many fucking breaks. Bro. Mm-hmm. Papa is probably the most talented nigga from here. Yeah, yeah we talked about that on with Cash. Don't play about Papa, boy. Nah, facts. I definitely don't play about Papa. The girls like Papa too. Papa is like it's because of his really. delivery. It's because of his sound. He been doing it for because of his too. cadence. And he was like that, a shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it, niggas it, remember it, that shit. And his story. Mm-hmm. Because you remember that lion tiger. You feel me? Like older, older female, like older women, like 30, 40, they heart was the east side. Let's be mm-hmm. real. Everybody heart was the east side. Papa was young. Everybody just got to see Papa grow up into mm-hmm. all this, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to explain that shit to this nigga. Me and this nigga was already he was like, um I told Oh, who you think run the too. city? Uh Ace or Papa? I said, Papa. bro. I said, Papa. bro, from the from the outside eye, that's not Jacksonville. Yeah. They're gonna say ace. Right. Yeah. In Jacksonville, Papa, nigga, it's Papa. Papa like, yeah. And it's no disrespect to Ace. Both of them got great music. But yeah. Papa, seeing his... Just seeing him... And it's no division. Into, it's, it's no, no division when they come to, uh, when they come to Papa. Papa. Bro, you know it's like... Saying? Everybody listen to Papa. Yeah, it's no division. Fast, everybody everybody listen to Papa. You can tell he massive. Once craft. you got the kids on lock and the women on lock, yeah, you, you got, you got like, That's it. what I just got to. It's crazy because I had the women on lock. But I had to get to get the kids on lock. Yeah, once you got them kids and the women, nigga... Yeah. So I want to ask this before we move on. Um, what can we see next from Swank Mike and yeah, what can and we I see next from Dumar? Like, talk about your project because we've been seeing it all day. Oh yeah, time. so I I, uh, I dropped a project called Dream a Little Bit. Um, basically, it's pretty much a lot of the songs that I went through in like three years. And my music, when I, when I do music, I always wanted to talk to the person. You remember Paid in Full, right? Mm-hmm. It's one scene that always struck me in that movie. It's when it's when Mitch came home from the club. And he was just in the room. He took his chain off. He took his shirt off. He laid in the bed and looked at the sky. Mm-hmm. That's the one time that, that you real with yourself. When yeah. you're thinking about everything you've been through, you know what I'm saying? Like, And that's what I always cater my music to. So I, I named it Dream a little bit because 
everybody literally dreams you know what i'm saying we yeah. all want to make it somewhere and we got aspirations but we got roadblocks that stop us from getting there right yeah. so um i got a song right now i'm pushing on my mind i'm getting ready to shoot the video with my boy kim boy next week so shout out to that boy mm -hmm. um but yeah that that on my mind song it's i like to call it it's like a motion song you know what i'm saying the beat a little different it's more yeah. it's on some florida shit really but being humble he could da -da 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 but but yeah, I, I be you know I do my thing, but I'm I'm humble because if if you if you listen to the music, it can speak for for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah I don't know if it's if it's tequila or what, but you just mentioning that mid shit yeah. just gave a nigga chills. I know exactly what you're you talking about. You, yeah, bro, that's every, yeah. everybody has a real moment with themselves where they sit or they look in the mirror or they riding and they it ain't no music, it ain't no distraction. It's just you know what I'm saying? Oh, they what? You know what I mean? My fault. <laughs> Pause, I knew it was coming. He put his head like this. I don't lie. I don't no, I'm over here like. Got me. All right, you know what I'm saying? All right, it's a real moment. I'm not gonna lie. Being around like. This nigga, I ain't never used to pause. Yeah. Like, so being around a pause nigga be like, I, I, at first I used to be like, and he said a lot of you shit. You say a lot of gay shit. Don't say a lot of gay shit. That's crazy. But let me ask you this too, because I was just watching an interview um, with um, Turbo, so I kind of want to get into like, how y'all feel about like working with producers? Like, that's y'all kind of develop a bond and y'all make music together. Like, like speak on that as far as like how y'all coming my, with that. My cousin, I ain't gonna lie, he did all my beats. Like he's who I grew up watching. So mm -hmm. from him making the beat, him teaching me how to play the keyboard, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff. So I already got that bond with people. So I, but I'm willing to work with other people, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But I, I already created that bond and created my sound with him because he watched me change since 15 and 16. Mm -hmm. so. I think okay. we getting back to a time. My bad, bro. I'm gonna yeah, let you yeah, rock. Yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, my fault. Let me ask a question. Um, yeah, yeah, you good. My father. Um, shout out to Tony Boy. Look at that ass, my love. Um, yeah, we just want to know like what you got coming next. Also, right. like, um, so of course we already know I got the um, the J Dot song on the way. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna drop the album. Who was on okay? I got some features on that. Baby Money, Mar Montana, J Dot, tight, a lot of shit like that. But um, I'm gonna drop a bomb. I'm gonna drop a stinger. I'm gonna drop a stinger. Um, hopefully this is out when, hopefully this this video is out when I go ahead and get everything done. Mm -hmm. But um, so as I all could like a lot of people can see like me and D Lo been fucking with each other really heavy. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to go ahead and um finish it and probably have the video shot in Jacksonville. That's probably like the biggest thing Thanks. right now that we're trying to figure mm -hmm. out. And, and I ain't gonna count either. I'm gonna be honest. Like I be watching all the creeping through the streets. And oh yeah, ain't, I meant to say that. No, y'all too in my top five. That's yeah, what everybody yeah, says. It's yeah. like they say, nah, they say, oh, uh, bro, yeah. them like, which one? The the uh, probably the first. Now you one. did one just, on you feet, did so, just do yeah. a freestyle with somebody, and you said something that was very you, you, cringy to me. You said something like "fuck it to her," period. Please. What you said? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> that was here. Oh, but yeah. what the shit he said. <laughs> This last freestyle you probably did, what not, you said? Probably not on the freestyle. It was probably freestyle. on the J-Dot song. What you I said? Fuck said, a what? I said, I said, the police clock my miles. I don't give a fuck. I kept speeding. I'm going to beat that pussy down till a pussy started Sorry, bleeding. I, I, I just cringed. Ain't no liquor Ew. or no bitches in your party. Like I'm going to leave it. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you say yeah. that? And what do you mean? No fucking bitches in your party. That just made me... Ugh. Nah, so, but actually I say though, knocking hoes period is on, yeah, bro. Like, that's what he meant. But I be in that bitch trying to, trying to reach the service. But we just talking about periods, bitch. right? Mm -hmm. ah, I mean that bitch trying to <laughs> motherfuck. I be like, I don't know. It just my face is like so angry. It's like when please when it when when I first start, I'm on some type of shit, and then it's like it's like when she when she be like, yeah, just right there. Hold on, bitch, you enjoying this? That's crazy. This ain't for your pleasure. It's for my nut. <laughs> oh lord, that's a cool. <laughs> oh, Whoever fucking do so it, like, I feel sorry for you. Nah, you don't feel I'm sorry, so baby. Sorry, one baby. thing about me, you gonna catch. Ooh. That, ooh. So listen ooh. up. Shout out to my, shout out to my baby. One thing about it, baby, you gonna catch that nut with do me. You gonna catch. Baby. Listen, one thing about me, you gonna catch a nut. You gonna catch a vibe. 
But uh, on a, on the other side, you might catch a cold, and you might catch a cold because you're gonna be sweating. On the other oh, side, though, like, what is going? On? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side though You got that type of line But I was just telling you before the cam I fuck with that weird shit And I like when you said uh, mm-hmm. I don't speak on wins I, I took too, too many, many losses. losses That's tough mm-hmm. I like that and Come on I want to ask y'all Just before we get into the, the real shit of the show You know Duval I feel like y'all been doing it for a while you know what I'm saying? I feel like you're pretty established. I feel like you're pretty established, you know. So for the up and coming rappers, is there any up and coming rappers y'all want to shout out that y'all got your eyes on that y'all think is good? And if so, I got plenty. Who that? It's a lot of Um people. It's crazy because he probably never knew I even said nothing about bro. Mm-hmm. Um four stats, baby. I listen to brush shit. Bro kinda raw. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bro kinda raw. My J1K. My J1K. V Milani. Mocha, um, Zay, and it's one more person, bro. It's one more person. What the fuck is her name, bro? The girl, her name is like the guns. Glockiana. That little motherfucker wrong. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Glockiana. She's so <laughs> raw, hard. bro. Yeah. Glockiana is so raw. I for swear sure. she's hard. She can rap for real. Like, I really can rap. That. What about I you, Mike? That for sure. uh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's, it's, a, it's a bunch of people. That, that just run across my timeline. And if that part capture me, I go to their page mm-hmm. and I listen to two, three others mm-hmm. and I follow them. And then I start commenting because people don't understand how much that just helps. Yeah, like, that mean a lot. Mm-hmm. I, I swear yeah, to God, because yeah. you know, you have homeboys and people that, that rock with you that don't even don't do that. You, know you posted some shit the other day. I think you might have been in the car and I was in the comments like, nah, this shit fine. Nah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, had, I, had, uh, I had freestyle applies, hypnotized. Yeah, that no, bitch was hard. I seen Swank my shit. I just started scrolling, liking everything. But no, nah, like <laughs> one day, you know what I'm saying? Mocha was playing that hard shit and I was telling her, I was like, you heard a sw- you know you heard a swing my like you remember that time we was in the club or not? I was like y'all need to make some shit together like I feel yeah. like y'all like mm-hmm. got a That's similar exactly. style. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I know like when Rail first told me about you like when he, cause you know we got a uh, 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 a homeboy and um you know niggas always be like bro my dog rap I don't know my dog whatever nah, so he, I'm like he I'm up. in that bit I'm like all right let me check it out. Yeah, and I checked it out. I remember I sent you in the group chat, and I'm like, we need to have him. On. Yeah, like, no, no, no. Talented. They was telling me they was like, we got this home. Like it was he. Like I got this homeboy yeah. named Mike, but I didn't. I didn't put two and two together. And then I went and I was like, wait, this person comment on the pop page a lot. Let me yeah. go click on that thing. I went to your page, and I was like, bro, we need him. He is and so that always make it feel better when yeah. we got somebody who actually. Yeah. I knew it was SP alone, but I still drunk it because I'm a gremlin. Shout out to <laughs> SP alone. There you go. No. Make you do a SP wrong. Shout out to SP alone. I ain't thing. gonna lie, but that's this a, shit got me fucked up. No, I was just gonna say, yeah, that shit is strong as fuck. Padre, that shit hit me too. This shit to be made by a nigga named Hector Ramirez. This shit is so strong. Another thing, too, though. Another thing, too, though. Hector Ramirez. Mocha is strong. Mocha also give Dumar his flowers too. Like, oh, like, nah, like, like he real smart. Like, no, he real smart. Like, he he really be thinking like social media wise. He got a lot of like Dumar. He gonna call you. He gonna he. Know the analytics, he know what nah, he facts. know everything. I'm like, this man is so smart. Hey, this was this was crazy, right? So, <laughs> 2019, the most interesting man in the world. Hey, look, hey, look, so look, 20, hey, you might be calling me. Oh, sorry. No, you might even be interested. Wait, do my listen, listen, listen. Oh, I do. Hey, do my listen. Hey, do my listen. 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 Do my Freestyle, mm-hmm. bruh, send it. Like mm-hmm. I, before people was doing that. Mm-hmm. And guess what? I always tap in, bro. Cause mm-hmm. if, if 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 you can rap or if people don't understand how much, bro, it don't cost nothing to support. Let me you tell y'all something. It's, it's crazy. I'm gonna tell y'all something real quick. The way he just said. Mm-hmm. A lot of niggas say, Dumar, bro, you got a face. Now you have a fan base. You get this many Spotify's. You get this many followers. You get this. I know you're doing this. You got this many shows. I don't give a flying fuck. Bitch, I can hit a million followers. I'm going to send that bitch out. He sent it to me the other day. I liked it. I'm going to send it out. I'm going to tell you what. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I respect that Look, because I feel I like said, I sent it out. I sent it out. I sent it out to about 5,200 people. 
Right And niggas would be like oh, damn spread. Why you do that shit It's like you trying to get them Making me Bitch you follow me No this is <laughs> I'm gonna do what the fuck I want to do like you Bitch you follow me I'm gonna send it to you, you. Correct And so I'm gonna send to it to you Because at the end of the day Niggas be having too much ego No niggas be having too much Niggas be having too much pride Every pride Pride to kill a nigga bro Me and my sister sending it to everybody I'm saying Both do the same thing We Both to the points where like Most send that shit to us And be like We posted it Mocha why yeah. the fuck is you sitting here to us? Nah. Oh, I didn't post it again, nigga. Post it again. I'm, 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 you post it? Yeah. No, it literally be a post. Why? We're posting it twice. It be going in 24 I, hours. This is you too. Like, I send a clip. Like, I want y'all to tap in. Go yeah, comment. Look, like, y'all yeah, just okay. said it, bro. If you don't believe in yourself, and that was my biggest issue. I never tell nobody I did music. If you found me, you found me. Mm-hmm. And it was because I wasn't trying to push it on nobody. Yeah. But now that I know. Nigga, you gotta I, put that shit I in be at Walmart checking out. You watch podcasts? Yeah. Give me a call. Hey, check out That's how you got until niggas get into the media business, yeah. niggas are not gonna understand. When you get into the media business, guess what you find yourself doing at the mall? Y'all listen to music? God damn, that's a whole group of ten people. Yeah. Y'all watch podcasts? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come rock with me, cuz. Here, bro, here, get, here, get my ass. What we say? I got a car. That's Main how you do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah I got some chicks out there. They asking about yeah. her. They like, that's your old lady? I'm like, nah, that's my co host. Y'all watch podcasts? Let's get there it. You go. Get the phones. You know what I'm saying? That's how you got it. Don't also say it. that you follow all them boys back, too, because you was, you were scared of niggas with the Switch Boys. Oh, yeah, no, I ain't <laughs> <laughs> The Switch Boys! boys. <laughs> Boys, yeah, the BTA fellas, <laughs> the BTA guys. I ain't gonna lie, one of the gents was like, "Bro, follow us back. Don't be Hollywood." I'm like, "I got you. I don't know none of them." Nah, show. Sure. <laughs> I'm following you later. Zay, Zay, Zay. I swear to God, on my mama, Zay. When we just left the studio last night, bro, what the fuck happened? Ten kids. I'm gonna show y'all. They posted shit. Ten kids. It was about ten. It was about 10 kids. Mask, mask, bro, mask up. Skip it. Don't play them games. It was hot yesterday. I'm in that bit. Yeah. Nah, real shit. We just fuck with your music, bro. Can we please get a picture? I ain't want to seem like no fan. Mm -hmm. Well, come on. Pull your mask down. When the nigga took the the picture, (laughs) he seen me. I'm over there, bitch, like this. I went on. Yeah. Come on, go out yeah, to the yeah. I don't trust you niggas. Yeah. But these niggas, they. Yeah, but let's take the picture. No, oh, bro. Fuck y'all, 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 yeah, you want to start it off so bad. It's supposed to be me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my bad. Nah, I mean, I mean, nah, we finna get into First of all, I just want to thank y'all boys for being here. Y'all really got show. some shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to give y'all, y'all flowers. Y'all both talented. I can't wait to see where y'all go. You know what I'm saying? Keep at it, bro. Man, the interview portion was real good. I wish we could have had more, but it's Super Bowl Sunday, y'all. So, niggas should get out of here. Hey, so real gonna, quick, real quick, bro. Before you, uh, when you introduce this shit, bro, don't say what it is, what it ain't is new. No more. Super Bowl started 613. I didn't say that. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah, we got a new segment it's for six months. <laughs> <laughs> not six. What time is it? It's 613. Said, yeah. Okay. Let's okay, go. we got 15. Yeah, yeah we finna go speed round through this bit. All right, so we're gonna get into what it is, what it ain't. Basically, um, in this segment, she gonna tell us, you know what I'm saying, uh, um, uh, trending topic that's going on right now, and we just gonna say if that's what it is or what it ain't. So okay, ahead. so first I want to start with Lotto versus Ice Spice. Lotto snapped back at Ice Spice with her track Sunday Service because Ice Spice took aim to Lotto with her track Thank You to Shit or Fart. How y'all feel about this? This what it is or what it ain't? I ain't gonna lie, her. That's, what it, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Rapping is we a need sport. that, bro. Ice Spice. Like you just said, it's yeah. a sport, bro. I mm-hmm. follow Ice Spice. She can't mess with Lotto tonight. I follow Ice Spice. I'm gonna tell you why I follow Ice Spice. I'm gonna tell you why I follow Ice Spice. She can't rap with Lotto. Na- Name somebody else. That really took the song and turned it into a sport. Yeah, Lotto. Name somebody else. That really took Storm like she did. Glorilla. That's it. You feel me? Ice Spice really took Storm. And held on to Nah, it. facts. That's a fact. That really took Storm. And my thing is this right here. Ice Spice is young as a fuck. 
You know what I'm saying? She like 22, 23. No, she's young in the... Not age, young in the industry. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I see what you're saying. Lala has been in the industry for a little bit. Yeah. Numbers-wise. She changed her name. She's blown high the water, numbers-wise. Her uh, mulatto name was mulatto before it was Lala. Mm -hmm. Ice Spice still is Ice Spice. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... I like it because... It brings fuel to both of them to keep going harder. Y'all heard birth, both songs? Like, which one y'all yeah. think is better? No. Say, you think it's a shit, shit, bitch? I, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That, that, that song hard, but lyrically hard. Sunday Service is hard, but that beat, dog, when she said, you think you... Bruh, that nah, beat dropped crazy. Come on, now, Lotto came with it. She, she did, bro. I'm not gonna care. Yeah, Lotto came with it. Lyrically, I'm not gonna care. Lotto came with it. Lotto came with it. came with it. Lotto 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 came with a lot of these bitches not coming like Lotto. Lotto could, yeah. she could go ham on a beat. But you know but what? If we talking about the numbers, yeah, Ice Spice is bigger. That's, 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 that's what I want to get into. What, where did the beef start? Is it like they was comparing? So it was they, more so because Lotto had dropped the track and she had Ice Spice video playing in the back. So Ice Spice but seen it and she was like, that. that's that. Been People, Nah, that's what sparked that off though. Them. Nah, I don't think that's what it was. Actually, it's really come from the Nicki shit. Nah, not even that. Like, Motherfucking like Lotto was doing like Ice Spice her little mannerisms and shit, mm-hmm. and Ice yeah, Spice felt like she was biting, comparing. Oh, comparing. and she felt oh, like she was, was biting. Like that, whole, thing or that whole the Nikki pose, said. the booty pose, and yeah, it was some hey, poses and all that Rich, shit. That whole Nikki so, said. This is what I have. To Hold say. on, that whole Nikki said. Bad tall bitch call a big foot. <laughs> bitch, you fell out. Should have got up on your good foot. That whole cute shit. Megan the stash. That shit was bad. Oh, my y'all, my bangs was getting my eyes. Oh my god. You know, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, when it comes to Lotto versus Ice Spice, this is way better than Megan. Yeah, that nigga just did Usher. Uh, that's what Usher gonna do to the Super Bowl. Oh my actually, god. No way. <laughs> Uh, they're What's actually the put it on the music. No, that shit is strong. But they're actually putting it on the track. So I appreciate Lotto and Ice Spice. And I feel like this is good. Oh my, I, I like it, bro. Mm-hmm. That's 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 what yeah. rap mm-hmm. is start. That's what it started off about. It was DJs versus DJs. But no, nah, that's, that's how rap started, bro. I didn't eat all I but ate. But that was all, right. yeah. Yeah. all I ate was a sandwich and chips. A sandwich. Okay, so next we on what it is, what it ain't. We have Trey Songs versus Jacquees. So allegedly, Trey Songs is Jacquees. You want that nigga Trey Songs? <laughs> Fuck that nigga. I'm just playing, y'all. So I pulled up for them. Songs. I heard Trey Songs walk that nigga though. I'm, nah, he pulled out his dress. He, he walked that nigga. Let's say he beat him up. I already walked yeah, that nigga. So I already walked that nigga. Is this what it is? I already right? got whooped. He pulled. He pulled a K three. I already <laughs> got whooped. <laughs> but let's keep it real though. Niggas be forgetting, bro. I'm from the home where niggas serve packs and things. Hey, look, hold on. Not even <laughs> that. Trey, Trey Song beat Queen's up. Then he said, We got it, y'all. He beat it, he beat it. He beat it, he beat it. That nigga snapped. That's not a win if you had to pull him. That's nah, not, but, but he won. He won. But he punched a nigga so hard, his hair started falling out. I ain't gonna cap up. People don't be thinking like all these dudes can really like Imagine punching niggas so hard. They hell fall out. Okay, so is this what it is or what it ain't? Like nigga lost hair. That's lie. what it ain't. You got a bump. You got a bump. Right. I, I, yeah. What was the reason? It gotta be what they fought about. Because, because well, Jacquees was calling him a rapist, so maybe it was some shit about that. Oh shit! No, he didn't do that to him. They don't like him to be accountable to their matter. Yeah. Oh wait, no, oh, okay. I'm so be real. it was about. It was about. I think it was about a woman. Like he was mad about. A woman oh, who yeah, wasn't even trying to talk to. I remember him saying something like that. I ain't gonna lie. That that's what it ain't. If I don't know you, I'm not. We not fighting about it. Like you know, what I'm saying. Supposedly, I'm supposed to be real. cool though. I'm gonna be real. Shout out the bottle caps. I'm chewing on one. Look, that's crazy. Oh, oh my god, he must be drunk as fuck, y'all. Look, he's about shout out the bottle caps. I don't give a fuck if I don't know you. I don't give a fuck if I know you. I don't give a fuck if I show you. I don't give a fuck if I owe you. <laughs> <laughs> you come to my bitch. <laughs> I'm finna. We go ball. That's it. No, 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 I, I, no, I, 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 I I'm fucked up by my. Listen, bro, on some real shit. If we been I, together, I, I'm fucked up. I don't even care. Like we ain't been together, <laughs> but we can be together for a day. This is my hoe, bro. What you doing? Yeah, this you my hoe, fam. Fam, this is my hoe. That's it. This is my hoe. Fam, this is my hoe. What are you doing? This is my bitch, Brody. 
Please. Oh, Pussy do that to you. No, bro, he, he I will, say what listen, he... I will elbow a nigga about my bitch. Real shit, bro. <laughs> nigga, I, fuck, nigga, stop playing on me. Like, because I'm that <laughs> fucked up about my bitch. My girl, I, I'm that way too, bro. I'm the type of nigga like my this, girl, bro. But... I don't even, I don't even like my, well, my bitch fine. And my bitch wrong. But I ain't looking at your looks. I just don't want nobody else to fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> so, with that's that being man. said, that's, fuck that's, niggas, that's, stop playing with me, man. bitch. That's good. They sat, we sat y'all by each other. Y'all, yeah. y'all, yeah, y'all, 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 y'all,
Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. Hey, Hold up. <laughs> the vibe. Don't say nothing. Okay, I'm going to just shut up. Yeah, you you call a lot of niggas. <laughs> he talking about wait a minute. To the niggas out there getting that drunk phone call, you are not special. I, I just want you to know. I just be calling people. Because I'm the fuck drunk you don't. Look, Yes, I do. Clear it up when for I the pod. When I get drunk, it's okay. yes. Hey, what's it's the okay. Hey, what you said on Baby Boy? Baby Boy said, what's the Hey, 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 what's the I just want to fuck. That's how I, when I get drunk, I call that Shout phone. I'm going to type of nigga like, I'm going to type of nigga I want to read a whole mind when they be like, y'all ever call a female late? We got to get drunk. Let's get into topics. Not rich y'all long. Like y'all ever call a female, female late? And they be like, you only called me just to fuck. <laughs> I called to have an engaging conversation with you. I actually miss you. Lying. I actually miss you. And I want to fuck. But the people you call when you join, those the people you really fuck Baby, with. I love you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> not going to fuck you. P.O.P.O. I be calling down. people when I join. That's the next topic. We got another thing. shout out to Rock Out or no? Um, no that, I mean, that's the one. Uh, that's that was all three. Topics. Damn, we all drunk. Let's do it. Except for V. <laughs> My fault, child. I'm a little tipsy. Because he got to get a physical tomorrow. I'm a little tipsy. Go ahead. Damn, nigga, stop exposing. Oh, she got a physical. Damn. <laughs> he got a he got a call, he got a call tomorrow. Now people gonna think there's something wrong with me. So she hold it, hold your balls and cough. <laughs> for real, not for sure. The physical's important. Them grown man physicals. You might have a hernia when you get older. I mean, for real, when you get you gotta eat them physicals, bro. Like a that Do your research on crazy. physicals. You might get a hernia. All right, yeah, so different look, you don't get no hernia. Let's get into so, Pete, we finna get into these quick. topics. Yeah. And, um, let's let's get it. So, we, Mo, you starting off on the topics? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, my topic is harmful stereotypes. So, we have, you know, a group of black men in here. Y'all talk about stereotypes that have been harmful to our, you know, to y'all. What you mean? Um, like me personally, I'll start. So, me personally, I'm dark skinned and. Um, uh, I guess I look a certain type of way, so I get a lot of men that come, they expect me to be aggressive or violent or something, and then they talk to me, and it's the complete opposite. There you go. So that's a harmful stereotype. What you mean by harm? Like, a harmful... Like, no, no. It makes me look some type of way that I'm not. Negative, negative stereotype yeah, negative. that fuck up, like, our culture. <laughs> like, okay, okay, well... I was gonna okay, say okay, dreads, okay, so okay, 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 um... Bitches without they side tooth. <laughs> Oh, Lord <laughs> Jesus. I can't take them. care of your kids if you can't take care of your teeth. <laughs> My boy turned. Y'all want me to take care of <laughs> You want me to take care of your kids and you can't take care of your mouth. Damn. Bitch, you ain't got no side tooth. That's not what I thought I he was going to say. No, what do you think about bitches with no side tooth? Like, what's, what's the negative what's the They side? always sneaky. <laughs> you always sneaking your way into some shit. Oh man! It's like you snuck that tooth under a pillow, bitch. I didn't know you were missing a tooth, bro. You ever, hey, you you ever see a bitch on Instagram that's fine as fuck? Then you go talk to her and she laugh and you look and it's a hole with that side tooth. You don't know how to tell. Nah, you no be cap. like, you don't know how to tell. Nah, nah because they always say bitches like this. <laughs> no, hey, why? Hey, you gotta watch. Girl, you gotta watch the story. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna give y'all the four one one, right? Mm -hmm. A woman who don't never show her teeth is it's a couple things, but we gonna start with the teeth. A woman who don't never show her teeth in the pictures, either she got a gap, it's something going on. You know what I'm saying? If she don't ever show her her lower half, if she if all her pictures is face shots, oh, yeah. if they if the they all hand shots, that's a big bitch. Yeah. That's a big bitch. Girl. But you know what I always say? I'm gonna girl. give y'all some. That game. is a big bitch. This how now you he tell. did that. Oh, that's shit, a big girl. Look, no, look. This yeah. how you tell though. The the pinky. Nah, not the pinky. No, I would pinky? say you can tell the from the nose. The pinky always tells it, bro. Yeah. I would say you can tell from the nose. Nah, cause cause they your can, nose get big when you using it a lot. They can contour. But you been using yeah. your nose a lot. Your nose is pretty huge, bitch. Not nosy. Yeah. But I don't know about a bitch photoshopping that nose. I can see that warp. The pink the, in the picture. The pinky go. The pinky go always nah, tell. If the, the titties real big too, and they sit up near the chin, that's a big bitch. Like everybody know that. Nah, if you I take a video. Nah, if you take a video. Nah, if you take a video. If you take a video and them titties right here. Yeah. Ma'am, you are a little extra. Yeah. Large. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all nah. is hilarious. So, okay, so come on. Harmful, get off the stereotypes. Let's really get into stereotypes. it. Stereotypes. So, um. I work around a lot of uh, what you say, Caucasian crackers. 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 We call them crackers. Uh, and we mm. sitting to see your manager. <laughs> <laughs> it is what I it is. I don't. Hold on. I don't call them that. I, I yeah. fuck white. Hey, but, but, but any move. Hey, but, um, but, 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 but I got I got a meeting to do tomorrow. But, but, I love y'all. 
He, Go ahead. But, but <laughs> anywho, I, I, I've been in sales for three years. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So so one thing about me, I'm, I'm 6'2", 260. So people mm-hmm. put out the sales. I've been in sales for No, no, no. But listen, yeah. listen. Aggressive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, aggressive. So, mm-hmm. like, yeah. I talk. I talk with my hands. And, uh-oh. One thing my manager always told me, he was like, you got to watch. Because you got long lawns, you got to watch how you are on people. And I remember that because I was talking to a customer and I was explaining Please buy something. Please <laughs> I was explaining something and he went like this. And I was like, ah, because they automatically. Well, look, and then I'm dark That's skin. microaggressions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah. But that's that's one of the things that's that's harmful. I got something to say. Why would niggas be like, because they got a gun and they stink, they think they crazy? <laughs> <sighs> Is it just me? Oh, when niggas be a little musty with a gun, they, be, nah, they just they go, these niggas like, kill five yeah. niggas. Like, Fuck, yeah. nigga, I'll do it. Hold on, fam. Okay, you need you to do it. It's that. like niggas will pick up a gun but won't pick up soap. A lot of niggas just be dirty. Like, like, mm-hmm. 21 Savage said that, though. Like, a lot of you niggas not crazy. Y'all He's just dumb. dumb. Yeah, yeah. Y'all just, no, y'all just filthy. And a lot of y'all mamas didn't get y'all tested. Y'all on the spectrum. <laughs> for sure. Honest. Nah, for yeah. sure. That nigga ever said yeah. All right, bro. Yeah. A nigga called no, but me. Niggas really be on the, t- on the yeah. A nigga called me today. You think you got like, issues? A nigga called me today. You got ass like, <laughs> For sure. For sure. Clip that. Hey, for sure. <laughs> nah, for sure. Dog, that's crazy. A nigga called me yesterday and was like, bro, I feel like you be trying me. Mm-hmm. I said, bro, I don't know you. And he was like, you treat a nigga like a fan. Fuck, nigga, you is a fan. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's, that's good Bro, I'm going to do man. something to your ass. I said, what type of freaking shit you on? I hung up. <laughs> and nigga texted me and said, nah, I was your plan, bro. I fuck with your music. I said, you know what, bitch? You're getting blocked. Because you're not finna text me on no weird shit. Like, I, like I said, though, bro, niggas just be crazy. Niggas be thinking they crazy because they stank with a pole. Mm-mm. And it's like, pause. It's, 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 just, it's just like females. <laughs> Facts. It's just like, <laughs> Facts. It's just like yeah. females, bro. Like, I don't get females that just like worry about Instagram, but that pH balance off. Oh, Lord. Damn. You God. know what I'm saying? My nigga turned. <laughs> bro, how many? Hey, how, many how, many fuck fuck up? how many of y'all done fucked up? How many of y'all done fucked up? What the fuck are you talking Listen, about, Kobe Bryant? How, how many of y'all? <laughs> How many, how many of y'all done fucked up? How many of y'all done talked to a bad bitch with? I'm I'm not a man. So not I'm saying. Oh no no. Yeah, we we, we talked about that. We talked about that on the pod. It's a lot of bad bitches with. Maybe light skin too. As you can see. Oh my god! Yes. It be the light skin. Yes. It be, it'd be, it'd be a lot. Nah, not, not my bitch. My <laughs> bitch light skin. My bitch bitches smell like flowers. But not. But like, it's, but, yeah. you more likely to come come across like the light skin girls be more dirty than. I had some. Yeah, that was a joke. I was really. Ooh, what you said? I had some stink. Okay, we forgot you light stink pussy. No. Let's get into it. Hey, no, in my younger days, <laughs> in my younger days, no, listen, listen, listen. I got you, bro. I got you. I got you. In my younger days, that pussy was always the wettest. It'd be the best. It'd be crazy. It'd be nasty and wet. It's just like a mud pile. Y'all ever did a mud pile? I'm sorry. Y'all ever did a mud pile? I'm sorry. Y'all ever did a mud pile? 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 You tell your homie girl one experience <laughs> yeah. with one bitch who was she bringing up every podcast. She gonna bring it up every podcast. <laughs> he always told you like niggas with no muscle. Another, uh, another, another thing. That ain't base for real. Uh, 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 other than the female I'm fucking you like shit. You told me she, your baby daddy be musky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> your baby daddy be musky. <laughs> Musky rat. Hold on, hold on. It's a musky man. It's a musky man. Oh baby, daddy be watching the pod. It's a musky man. Nah, I didn't say that. Hold on, we trying to beef with me because I didn't say that. Your baby mama said. Alright, nigga nigga just sung musky man seventeen times. It's a musky man. Listen, listen. Let's get to a serious point. Musky man. One to me would have to be. I seen a difference in how people treated me. Especially Caucasians when I had my gloss or dress. Yeah. I think it's definitely a stereotype, especially with the gloss. Like yeah. they kinda see you as aggressive, hood, a threat. A threat. You that know what I'm saying? When yeah. I had my shit too with people definitely it was definitely yeah. a yeah, you seen the difference. Yeah. It's only fun you. when it's fun. Even even goals. You know what I'm saying? And hey, y'all ways is really on swimming here. I, I, yeah. Look, go ahead, come and zoom in on that right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that y'all ever like <laughs> 
Y'all ever came across somebody that was stank, that was in denial? Like, oh, yeah. You be like, damn. And yeah, you try to get it. No, listen. It be y'all two in the building. It like, just only be y'all two. And you be like, damn, somebody stank. I don't who, me? I ain't motherfucking stank. Bitch. Like, I, hate, I hate somebody who, who stank and act like they don't know they stank. Know they stank. What's that yeah. smell? Mom, I was it is you. Yourself, it is you that I'm smell saying. like the bottom of a damn barrel. I ain't gonna lie, I'm leaving and I, I'm gonna go handle my business and get right and come back. If if that was ever, if, if I was ever in that yeah. situation, because I always like the smell that I'm being nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real. If you stank, you can't leave. <laughs> Cause when you leave, yeah. the smell go away. So yeah. they know it's you. Know it's you. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. That's you gotta act stupid. Y'all can't find the smell here, nigga. <laughs> Look, niggas used to have the class when they always pin it up like this. Hey, look, on the real, when I was young. You can't do it in school. When I was young, (laughs) let me tell you the way I used to smell myself when I was messy. It was where I used to be like this. (laughs) (laughs) Why you did all that? But now people with good hygiene, they can, like, this is my thing. Like, girls who stink on their periods, things like that. I just like, maybe it's something like you eating or something. Because, like, me personally, like, even on my period, I don't smell bad. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like it's something. You just don't got to hygiene. Up, on your period, or even when I sweat, I don't smell bad. So, why y'all don't tell sweating. y'all friends when they stink? Who don't? I'm going to tell my friend. Me no, you I'm gonna tell my friend. no, you don't. My no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Hey, no, no, of course you don't. Know. Is they gonna listen though? Are no, you gonna listen? He said, he said how, how I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. So my tell me how you tell them. Say I'm, it. I'm just like, say it. Friend. Say it. Cause you're smiling. You're laughing. You're lying. Cause you gotta say it nice. Tell me. You gotta say it nice. <laughs> friend, like. I've been peeping a little smell. Maybe you should get checked or switch your soaps. Girl, that's, that's gonna start a motherfucking fight. That's, that's gonna I ain't gonna, gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie with women. That, that, y'all do your research, no like do your research on. Do your research on. Y'all ain't friends no do more. Your research, do your research on feet. So no, do your I homework. Tell y'all Hold y'all on. They think. Do you, like, oh, how we say it? But what the fuck? Stay stay yeah, nigga. Listen, yeah. if you stay and you around me, you're going to get. Listen, Mike, Mike is my example. If you stay, if you in that car with us on the way to the stay, show, man. you're going to get ready. <laughs> Mike, like, hold Mike, on. Mike, don't be staying. Mike, don't be staying. No, Mike, <laughs> Mike, Mike is probably one of the cleanest niggas in the group. Mike and Doc. But look, if you stay and you get in that damn car and we on the ride to the show, because I be having shows with Daytona, about dogs, the Savannah. Bitch, we gonna rank on you from that whole ride there nah, to that whole ride back, and then when you, you get home, you will learn that a shower is very important. I'm not gonna rank and make somebody feel bad. Hold on, hold on. No. At this age, like I ain't got no homeboys with me staying. Yeah, I'm like nobody. Like, my friends don't. Nah, I do. I do. You understand, bro? It'd be like forty niggas trying to get around me, bro. So it's like. On, on the real, Mike can even tell you. I even let I I be like, Mike, cause it's these three niggas. They want to come to the no, show. No, but girls talk let about them. stuff like this. Like they'll be like, hey, be like cause just my coochie been a little smelly, and you be like, hey, it's probably a little gonorrhea. Clemente, you, you need to go to the clinic. That's smelly? how you talk to them. Smelly, like, literally, when your smelly is diabolical. Like, let, 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 what nigga Jimmy say? Let, 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 let they start got now. The green, blue discharge. You, it's something wrong, baby. Green, so blue. what color do your <laughs> discharge be? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What a flag at? Mine is normal. It what's the green? No, what's the normal no, color? It's clear it's white. Clear That's white, what yeah. the normal color is. My mama always discharge. told me. Why is he talking about this? My mama always told me. <laughs> Why is he talking about this? <laughs> my mama always told me. What the fuck me. did I walk in? My, my mama always told the me wrong, that wrong. all dark skins <laughs> got a little twang to that shit. And your mama very colorist. She got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame her. No you got? Do you? A uh, nigga never told you like. A nigga never told me that. When niggas eat like my tame. when niggas eat my pussy, they want to keep shit going. Like this is what they be saying. Oh, she, she tastes so good. She's so wet. Like, I like. I, I like a little shit. twang. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you like I don't a little. Hold on. You like a little twang. I'm, 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 I'm the, the, I'm the, the, I like sweet and sour. Ain't nothing wrong with sweet and sour. I'm the twang king. The twang king. Twang king. Oh my god. I don't like twang. That shit got taste like. Well, I'm. Be What's real, the like, when, like, when I go to, when I go to chicken coop, nah. I like sweet. You, would you eat a girl pussy yeah. out the club? Like, no. Was she, was she eat club? Yeah. Oh yeah, I need that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Everybody, Brody, please. Oh my god. What's the club? What the fuck? Wait a minute. Everybody, Brody, please. Oh my god. What the fuck, Mike? What you just said? Hold on. What did you just say? She lead a club. Don't get in the shower. Like, come on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. As a woman, I got an actual question. You must like lemons. Hey, what? <laughs> what is the twang? What's the twang? Can y'all um, the twang is, the twang is like, uh, 
Is it uh, a penny uh, taste? Nah, uh, it's not like a taste. sweaty taste. Uh, girl, girl, not even, girl even, if it tastes like penny, like you bleeding. Mice? No, what are you it's not even salty. Girl, if it tastes like penny, you bleeding. It's this not even, message the twang, is approved by Paid and Bay's podcast. Hold on, hold on. As the Twain King, let's have a Twain conversation, mm-hmm. right? Okay. Oh, so no. Twain is not like a. It's just like a. You know what I'm saying? Like you kind of. It's like a. It's like a. Like it's like. It's cool to me. How many licks does it take? It's just like a little. It's a niche. It's a niche. Let's find out. A one, a two, a three. Bow. Like lick yourself or something. How many licks to get to the twang? Twang. 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 Oh God, bro! What it? No, fuck that! What it taste? Don't no pussy you taste pussy sweet. Before. You ain't got no when sugar you, when in you your taste pussy. That white discharge. It tastes sweet. When what? You taste, what is like the cream. sweet taste? Like it's not like a cake. This but it's going a viral. Slight sweetness. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This, I'm I'm a sweet it. what? I ain't so, ever ain't no sweet pussy. <laughs> what the fuck it is sweet pussy? Sweet. I don't have some sweet pussy. Y'all don't understand. What the fuck is sweet pussy? Pussy tastes like pussy. It tastes like flesh. Pussy tastes like flesh. You're lying. No, the fuck I'm not. Okay, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did Rick Ross say? False accusations. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Time out. So like twang is when it's like cause like you know you got the fresh out the shower pussy that's gonna be flesh this is just flesh it just tastes like flesh twang is just when she got that natural I that, need your that pussy that to taste like my vape substance I've never ate a pussy before I'm talking about the substance that comes you out. never ate pussy the, before the, the stuff when you put your finger in your coochie you got you that never ate pussy before no you got that white stuff cause I just never have why cause I haven't you want me to eat your bitch pussy or something like you want to take your bitch what's going on I haven't the he fuck? never cause I can't he never and you never, never say never, never. <laughs> you never why I just never ate pussy, but nah, my mom touched nah. myself and felt, and it just don't taste like twang to me. What to me, twang? I thought it was like the first few licks. Mm-hmm. That you gotta get off like oh, that one. little coat. I done gave a bitch some twangy dick before. Like fresh yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about how yeah. niggas be musty with them musty ass dick. balls. Let's talk about that. Hold on. Like Hold on, motherfucker. My ass balls ass ain't fuck. musty. Yeah. And it's got a little ring to them. Whoa. A ring? Because you got a Listen, when I listen. It be real musty. Ring is crazy. When I just get out, listen. I have females that like. Old time, cause now I'm faithful. Yeah, I was about to say clean. Cause now I'm faithful. Yeah. Cause now I'm faithful. Hallelujah. Give me a little bit of that SP alone. SP alone. You SP alone got him talking about pussy boots. <laughs> Fat, okay, boom. Hey, just turn, just nah, nah, real shit. Now, it's crazy. It's crazy. Cause I've been waiting. On, this how I talk. I ain't even draw. I swear to God. This how I talk for real. Um, I done gave a bitch like a bitch that gave me head before. Fresh out the shower. I mean, I mean, fresh out the shower and fresh out the studio. Ten hours. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It's a difference. And you can tell, like, yeah, that old suck you did. Like in the shower, they go straight to it. Go to the studio ten hours and come back. Uh, gonna I stop. got a solution for that. Everybody know I put deodorant on my balls. I've done that Thank before. You that. Thank you for that. I've done, that. I've, done, I've, done, balls. I've done that before. Nigga got too much. And when a bitch see the white shit under your balls, nah, you gotta do it real light. <laughs> what the fuck is light. that? You gotta do it real light. Maybe it's deodorant. What you put deodorant on your balls Nigga for? Got you gotta gooch. Do it real um, Nigga got <laughs> gooch dandruff. <laughs> you gotta do one slice. Crazy. But that's nasty. You gotta do one slice. Yeah, nigga got ball got, lights. You gotta do one. You got net lights, nigga. Down Look cool. And she's not gonna want to lick your balls because it's gonna taste like deodorant. So, so I, I ain't gonna lie, being a dude that's a little bigger, <laughs> like I always try to make sure I smell good, like all, all the time, time bro. Yeah. You know, what I'm but you heavier but you, niggas. Right, but you but you can't do it all the time. I'm so what, what, what you what you really gotta do, bro? Is you just gotta tighten up. If you getting into that moment. Tighten yeah. up right before you get to yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that's what it is. I ain't gonna get caught right. sipping. Hey, now, when I was young, when I was young, you gonna get whatever come out of these pants. <laughs> oh, you the nigga that had that musty dick that everybody was like, let's just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to make it clear for the audience, the topic was negative stereotypes. And we talking about, so I guess we talking about big niggas, hold on, big niggas have musty balls, I guess, that's a stereotype. Big niggas do have musty balls. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just trying to 
trying to figure out I ain't trying to figure out How we got here Listen How we got listen, here as, Cause listen, I wasn't listen, gonna listen, pee With me getting Nah listen This not me oh, right now fuck. Cause I smell <laughs> great You feel me I'm, I, I right. smell great You feel me A bitch can rub her finger Around my balls And sniff it It's gonna be smell beautiful But the thing is With being big niggas Bro we have to stay on top yeah. Of our shit yeah. You know what I'm saying Skinny niggas don't really have to do that Damn give a fuck Yeah you know what I'm saying? Because they don't really care. Niggas skinny, hey, tall, skinny whatever. Be musty they be musty too. Yeah. Now they be musty all the time. Now since y'all keep talking about this tank, tangy pussy, like I can't wait to. And why you niggas be wearing jackets? Because I want to try it now. Like, what? Let's see. If you <laughs> tangy pussy, if all the tangy I pussy try, females, all the mango you habanero said, pussy females, you said why I be pull up, jackets. oh lord, pull up. If you a big nigga, put deodorant under your titties too, man. Because them bitches sweat too, my boy. Titties okay. On, this is supposed to be paid in bed. Wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> you got Why to. are you putting deodorant under you your damn to. male, you you got male to. nipples? You got to, nigga. You gonna smell. And then immediately. Is she sucking <laughs> that <laughs> little son? Yeah, I'm gonna say you take off the I'm gonna be real. Hey, real shit. I wanna say something. Under the meat. Hey, look, real shit. If you fuck a female, and this is for the niggas and for the females, if y'all know, <laughs> if a nigga ever fucked you with his shirt on, he don't really care about you. That yeah. nigga go butt naked, yeah. Yeah. butt yeah. naked, yeah. nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, you got that nigga hooked. You know, he just said something because, <laughs> bro, my bitch, bro, two days ago, my bitch had me in that bitch butt naked, nasty. I'm talking <laughs> about in that bitch. Looking like I'm gonna paint a sculpture. Hey, like, I'm that big. But no, nah, if the nigga fuck you through the box, I was just gonna say he hates like you. He don't yeah, like that's you. Crazy. Yeah. Hey, that shit hey, I was naked that bitch like I was just born. <laughs> I swear to God. Through the, like, through the box, I was home. balls, balls oh, hanging, like, balls oh. swinging, <laughs> balls ringing. Niggas in that bitch like Tyrese on the beginning of the baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, bro, you got a box. That's so. crazy. Hey, you ever, hey, you ever be. <laughs> hey. Hey, oh, you wake up next to your next to the bitch you talking to a bitch you fucking with, and you be so naked, you be like, "What the fuck am I doing?" Like, yeah. Why? When you wear my clothes, when you fall asleep after the sex, you wake up hey. with gummy, you be like, "This whole hey, guy is super vulnerable." When you get up, and when you get she up, she got me real hey, vulnerable. When you get up and you leave my house, you be looking like a hoe. Where my socks at? Yeah. <laughs> Pink in my pants. <laughs> nigga be like a bitch. Nigga got the shoes like this. Nigga got the shoes. Give me my socks. I ain't gonna lie. Give me my Socks. Stop playing with my socks. socks. <laughs> Give me my pants. Hey, I be holding my shit. Bro. And another thing. Lie, lie. And another thing. Oh, Bitch, let me yeah, tell you something. Hey, if you get butt naked, hey, hey, if you get butt naked. Uh uh-uh, uh, bitch, don't you ball them panties up. Let me see them. Oh, yeah. Oh, I get them to me. Give me, give me those panty lines. <laughs> Why are you going to crazy? I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, no, nah, bitch, you ain't getting get no dick tonight. I'm a little Some bit of a. don't want you to see a discharge. I'm a little bit of a sicko, <laughs> so I just wrap the panties around my neck. Like, uh, I just got an interception. Uh, I play for yeah, Miami. Uh-huh. I just grabbed the panties. <laughs> oh, I grabbed the panties around my neck. Nigga, so wow. you just tied the CMG? That nigga put the chain on. I mean, that be like this. With the panties. I'm going to lock doors, glass eyes. Shout out to SBLO. We got to get into the next topic, so let's, we're going to go with JSK3. I'll give y'all the best I can in the short time. Come I'm on. Yeah, yeah. I'm scared to go to my shit. Right. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm not supposed to be eating, but we a little drunk. So, we're going to talk about vices. I'm hungry. Okay. We're gonna talk about vices. Mm-hmm. You wanna go get something to eat and watch the game? Uh-huh. Bitch, what are you supposed to be, James? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm listening. So we're gonna talk about the vices, like, and we wanna know what your vice is. So basically a vice is just something that, you know, not a, not so much of an addiction, but something that kinda like is influential on you. So like for me, it'll probably be like weed and women. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Especially women. <clears throat> I I I would say for me, like I ain't gonna lie, I always been like a like a lover boy. I ain't gonna count like I could talk to a couple girls at a time, but like I, I ain't got time for that. I'm so focused on what I'm trying to do and where I'm trying to go that two more than two, three, four, five, y- y'all can have it. I'd rather have one that kinda understand me. And that's been my issue. Cause soon as I get the one that understand me, I be trying to pour into her as mm-hmm. far as like trying to build her up more than myself because I rock with you so hard. Like and, and I got Thanks. a lot of wisdom at a young age. So it's like, okay, look, if you do this like that, 
You feel me? And then if you take this time to set aside for yourself every day, you can actually become this and build that. You know what I'm saying? So that that that's my advice, bro. You know? No, we real sp- No, I ain't gonna cap couple what turn. Okay, so when it comes to me, I would have to say, like, since y'all are touching on that, like me, it's definitely men. Like just feeling this type of comfort or security in men that has like, you know, that's my thing, like where I need to heal from like I don't get it. Why I seek validation from men, I don't know. But I'm just being blood raw because a lot of you women are the same. But for but me, like, I'm a lover girl. It, bro. That's real. So I'm a shit. I, I like I'm like for me, it's like okay when I see a man, it's like I'm already thinking about ten years later. You know what I'm saying? Shit, Instead yo. of just going with the flow, like I'm a lover girl for real. So shit, <laughs> <it's like laughs> another thing is I really like toes. So. <laughs> Like this Wait a minute. Like they vices toes Listen, is crazy. I love my toes. So Wait, so what was the question? I was I like to, vices. Okay, so what's I'm vices? Gonna say this, and then don't ever bring it up again. Yeah. Y'all what's too. vices? Don't ever bring it up. What's vices? So vices is hey, basically. Let me finish. Do not bring this shit up. And that day I like to like beat me with my toes. Like you a foot jobber. Oh, what's vices? Yeah. I was trying to figure out where we going. <laughs> With them scaly ass feet. I'm just playing. So wait, wait, wait. How much you charge for that? And you dark skin. <laughs> them feet hard as fuck. <laughs> Nigga feel like he rubbed his dick on concrete. <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> but look, no. she said she would give a foot job. I said, them dark skin hey, feet. Listen, shut like, ah! That's my right. color. Right. 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 Do my, right. do my for the minute. Share it. Like, like, uh, my meaty, weedy, ouch. Color is rapper. Do my work. He said, dark skin. I'm just playing. No, no, no. I know. Well, my baby dark. My baby light skin. So, so you being colorist right now? For sure. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm only fucked up by my bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Let me go ahead and tell y'all <laughs> something real quick. I'm only fucked up by my bitch. I ain't even too much <laughs> fucked up with nobody else. Hold so on. I, no, 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 real shit. I hate bitches except for. Hold on. Can I say as something? As green as that sound, I hate. No, listen. I hate hoes. Oh when it come to her. clean it up. No, I ain't cleaning shit up. You, you I are. hate hoes. I can't wait till this clip come out. They gonna hate him. <laughs> but I love y'all. <laughs> Even uh, dark melanin queens. Nick no, I love. No, listen, listen, listen. listen, 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 listen. <laughs> if you're dark, listen, if you're dark skin, you are beautiful, right? You are beautiful. You uh-huh. are everything in this world. If you right. are dark skin, if you are multi, like if you have like multi uh, like racist, me. like yeah, feel me. You're beautiful. <laughs> I love you. You feel me? Like I, I appreciate you for supporting me. But in my face, bitch, I hate you. I only love my bitch. I'm tender about my hoe. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm really. T- I said that about five times. But I, I, I like. I will literally like. I will punch you about my bitch. Put this ass on. Stop talking. Well, he ain't never be cut that shit. Because I'm about my hoe. Like because my thing is. I'm all about love, bro. Like when I get my heart to oh, when I give heart, when I get my heart to oh, I choke another bitch for talking to me. Bitch, stop playing with me. All right, so yeah, we gon' we gon' we gon' we gon' serious enough. You better catch a charge and most most shit. I thought I was bad. <laughs> y'all, I said we I we will. might not need it. Y'all niggas can't never do no two man. Not y'all. If you man. talk, if you talk <laughs> to me, <laughs> like if you talk to me, I do it up. Fucking build on. Bitch, stop. <laughs> and I had choke, choke, you. Choke. Like it's like a bitch can tell me, a bitch can tell me, hey, I like your dread. Pussy ass, so don't talk to me. My bitch talking. Right. So, if you go to a Dumar show, don't ask him for a picture. <laughs> don't touch me, <laughs> don't, ask, look, don't touch me. Then you gonna go Kevin Gates on you. But you can touch so, me so if boom. you want to. So boom. All right, yeah. Let's let's get back to it on a serious tip. What All is right, it, vices? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I say my. I feel like this hard. I feel like y'all gonna be like, damn, is this really advice? I'm gonna say like. <laughs> I feel like y'all two know though. My vice is like people. That's okay. Like, I'm not a people person. Okay. I don't care to be around people. Yeah. I don't like to be around people. I like being in the house. I like being in my own comfort of my so own. So maybe anti social is your vice. Yeah, being anti social. Okay. 
But it's all like, I wear is anti-social because I really am that real shit. Exactly. I'm anti-social. I don't on some real shit, bro. To pick it back on what you're saying, me to cut you off. Nah, you I don't really like talking to niggas like that, bro. Mm-hmm. Like about like, I feel as if like on some real shit though, and like, I'm being honest. Um. I don't really like talking to niggas, bro, because niggas don't have much to talk about unless they need you. You ever had a conversation with somebody and it's like they they try to nitpick until they get to what they really want? You ever had that conversation? Oh yeah, well, niggas, like niggas, your mama niggas. call your mama call you. Hey, baby. But but yeah, so can I have thirty? You got thirty. How your life going? Okay, baby, you got a thousand for this yeah. rent. I'm a little behind. Hold on, mama. You talking about yeah. the fake conversation before the they actually conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mike, you had that big conversation before. Uh huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Before they, so like yours is so yours is like people. I say like mine is women, but like I definitely um women and weed, but more so like when it comes to weed, is more so like I'm surprised you said weed. Yeah, it's like yeah, I already too. know you guys are smoking. Literally. But that's that's why I don't smoke no more because it's yeah. one of my because like when I when you got a lot of shit right. going on I was just telling them about this shit like night yeah when you got a lot of shit going on you just be trying to escape and I feel like weed is one of them things that where like you forget about your problems but you really yeah. just you got to keep smoking to keep you forgetting I don't smoke weed you want me to tell you why bro because it puts you in that state of mind like that mm-hmm. you don't need weed to forget fam yeah. I just feel as if like. You gotta go through that shit. I'm gonna be honest though, bro. I, I used to smoke weed a lot. Weed, I, ain't yeah. shit going on. I used to smoke weed a lot, bro. But like, weed is just like, it's like a um, it's a shortcut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was never in the shortcut. It's an escape. Yeah, I was. Ne- yeah. And, and, and no, this is no disrespect to people that smoke weed. You feel me? Like, I always smoke weed if you need to cope. I always smoke weed if you need to escape. I always smoke weed if you need it. I'm a type of nigga, bro. I don't take shortcuts. I mean, what man. about doing coke a little bit and some X pills? You've done that because you yeah. asked it. Um, <laughs> yeah, we do a little coke. We get a I, I, I mean, do, love. I used to do pills bad. <laughs> no. Yeah. That whole no, 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 I I no, 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 I did Adderall before. Really it, because had Adderall, Adderall, Adderall calm me down. Adderall good. No, it's Adderall not, not work it's good for you at all. Adderall, Adderall literally is a lower scale to Ritalin. That shit is not good for you at all. Yeah, I used to do it. No, I'm so. talking about like, like if you, you actually need it, it's man. But if you abusing the shit, that even shit if you need it, Adderall is not good it, because but I, my mood I was uh, abusing so I that shit because it's like. Don't help I would focus. be so Yeah, yeah. 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 I would you be come so down You're a bitch Them college Everybody. white kids Like you mean everybody Bro I was in Tallahassee One time No I used to be on Adderall he, I used The to cracker told me He was like he was like, you all right? You on coke? He was like, no, I'm just off a couple of Addies. Like, I'm like, a couple of Addies is crazy. Not a, couple is crazy. Oh, a couple is crazy. Because one gonna keep you up eight. Yeah. I used to, um, I'm not going to say where or when, but I've been stopped. I've been stopped. You like you did Molly a before long time. a little bit. You, you probably done Molly. Look. Not ill. Nah, but nah, real shit. See, when I'm getting serious, <laughs> niggas play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's your problem. Nah, that's me the, and both do Molly all the time. And that's the reason why I don't like dark skins. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> look. Like, come on, look, look, let's be real. Look, listen. Who, nah, real shit, though, real shit. Um, um, I used to sell Adderall. Like, who your plug? I need some. And I would, nah, I used to. Bro, okay, I don't okay. sell them anymore. I've been quit a long time ago. A long, long you time ago. You just told me one two weeks ago. <laughs> no, please stop playing like that. Please. Hey, you talking about. I've never sold her. I don't even. I just met her today. <laughs> like, I just met her. I met her in the studio in here. It's my second time. I've never saw her Adderall. I promise. I swear to God. I don't. I don't play with the camera. But I used to see what that shit used to do to people, bro. Like that shit fucks people. I used to sell those at first, and like niggas would come for one pill, mm-hmm. and then come back four hours for another pill, mm-hmm. and then come back an hour for another pill, and then come back thirty minutes for another pill. Then niggas would buy that. Let me get three. Let me get four. Let me get five. Not seen. Nigga, like, that bit, let me get a sheet. Yeah, like what these shit's really a do to a nigga. Yeah, but let me get a slab of them bitches, bro, yeah. please. It's like, oh my addiction god. Addiction is a bitch, though. Like on the series, no yeah. addiction. Addiction to anything. That could be liquor. That could be porn. That could be sex. That could be women. I'm addicted anything. to pussy. I would say that's yeah. what. That's what. I'm addicted to nothing in pussy. Oh, okay. I know that my old lady so kids? much. No, I don't. But I know that my old lady so much. It's sad. Oh, you ain't got no kids. You, so, I think I got one. I'm not sure though. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm being real. I'm being real. But um, I nutted my old lady so much. 
It's sad. Wait, wait, wait. You, you really, you see, you don't play by your own name. How long y'all been together? For a little bit. <laughs> nah, no, <laughs> nigga. How long y'all been what together? You talking? <laughs> <laughs> how long y'all been together, bro? Who you talking? Hey, I be fucked up, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I we can't. How long it take you to find love? No, 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 no. Hey, you say how long? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hold on. This is a clip. What you said? How long it take you to find love? Like. 36 minutes. Like, if I fall with you for real, I'm definitely like. Nigga fall in love on his lunch break. Bitch, you mind. It's like. Oh. So, wait, you and your old lady got time in it? How long yeah, y'all been together? Yeah, we got a little time. How long? How long? What's a little time? Uh, a Two month? Months? How long? Come on. We gotta be talking some A couple years. weeks? Couple. Man, a couple something. God damn it. Get out of my business. I'm we fucked up. We gotta talk about no years. I'm <laughs> fucked up, Potter. I don't know how long. It can take two days. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I know what happened. Y'all had a little disagreement before. You trying to you you trying to use the pod to get back in good. No, nah, I'm, I'm so I'm so fucked up by nah. my old lady, bro. Some real shit. I'm gonna tell you why I'm fucked up by. I think she might have put something on you, no. boss. I don't I know. Nah, I'm gonna say this though. I'm gonna say this. Um. I've never had a female they tripping. that pushes me so much. You get what I'm saying? Mm, Give me a second, bro. Shut the fuck up, bro. Yeah. Stop playing. I thought that was God. That's that's Mike, crush. stop playing, bro. Oh, that's not Mike. That's Mike right there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was God. <laughs> All right, but now, real shit, though. I was just like, uh, um, but my old lady, bro, she pushes me to do things that. I've never been capable to do by myself. Yeah, and and I feel as if like um, with her, who the fuck is preaching? Uh, T D Jakes. <laughs> <laughs> swallowed. Have you ever been swallowed? Yeah, been swallowed. Yeah. <laughs> swallowed. Okay, my fault. Clip, clip, clip. But yeah, nah. I feel like we all hit on. Some what shit. you said again? One more time. You said, I, you said about my old lady. How long have I been with her? Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I've been with my old lady for as a long time, but I feel like I've known her for so long. Yeah. Because of how we connect, and it's mm-hmm. like we see each other every day, mm-hmm. we talk to each other every day, and we bond every day, and it's like. I understand her. She understands me, and I understand her situation. She understands my situation. It's like. I don't know how to describe it, bro. I'm just so fucked up by her, bro. It's like, it hurts me when I'm not, when how I'm away from her. How many times you been in love? I've been in love like f- twice. And I think I'm close to being in love again. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> All right, so I love it. That love feels you good. Love girl, but we finna get into our next topic, which is shout out to Rock Out, because I really want your opinion on these topics, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> I gotta let her read all the way through. Let me read without no interruptions. Keep going. All right, so we have, I kicked my wife out after punching my mom. Think about your old lady. My wife and I have been together for eight years, and she just gave birth to our baby two months ago. Up until my wife got pregnant, my mom loved her. During the pregnancy, my mom started being real clingy to me and avoided my wife at all costs. I threatened to go no contact with her, and she snapped out of it for the most part and stopped being so ignorant. Now, a week ago, my mom, my sister, and my sister's husband, and my sister's daughter, who's 12, came over for dinner. I prepared the meal and fed everyone. Before my wife could eat anything, our daughter got fussy, so my wife excused herself to go feed the baby and get her down to sleep. I thought I prepared enough, but apparently not because my niece, who's 12, was still starving. She's 5'5 and 190 pounds. I haven't seen her in a year, so I didn't know that she would eat this much. I apologized and told her that I I hadn't been aware that she needed this much food, and I offered her crackers. As I was putting my wife's portion in the fridge, after that, I just went outside with my sister's husband to smoke a cigarette. I didn't think anything of it, but when I heard yelling from inside, I walked in, and my wife and my mom were screaming at each other. Apparently, my mom, who saw me put my wife's food away, gave my niece my wife's portion of the food. And as I walked inside, I heard my mom say, looks like you can afford to skip a meal and slap my wife's stomach. Right as soon as I get ready to step in, my wife winds back and punches my mother square in the face and drops her. The whole house went silent outside of my mom crying and holding her face. I tell everyone, get the fuck out. Immediately, everyone leaves and my wife just turns and puts her head in her hands on the counter with her eyes closed. I look at my wife and say, you leave as well. 
She says, really? She's crying at this point. I saw a clip, and I said, yes, pack up and leave. And she packed up the baby. Rock out, out baby. <laughs> Punch the shit out of my mama. I'm so fucked up about my old lady. That's my mama now. No, he kicked his mama. If his I'm daddy, out. bitch, you mama. But no, Punching the shit. You don't, you don't slap my wife on the stomach and say you can afford to skip a meal. He kicked, what, he kicked the wife out. No, no what's wrong with you? So, no, no, Punch so, no, the no, shit. Hold on, talk, talk about. So we talking about front of person. So this the this the nigga rock out. writing in. So no, he asking is he shout out a rock out for kicking his wife out after punching nigga his mama. Shout out. You shout out, out. nigga. Shout, shout out. the shout fuck out. out. out uh, listen, babe. Your mama way out of pocket. Babe, uh, you got my kids. Cause why your mama acting funny? Babe, you, you got my kids. That's how you know. Punch that, that damn lady in her shit. Pause. <laughs> that's how you know the nigga daddy not around. That's how you know that that nigga daddy not around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say her mama think that she with these type water. of with these type of issues, niggas don't be putting their foot down. No, in time exactly. enough. and that's be because the issue. when it like I love my mama to death. My mama like but my stop best friend, playing with but, my bitch. But Real when shit. it's my woman. And Real I be shit. about some pussy. Real and you shit. keep coming to me and telling me that my mom is making you uncomfortable. I'm Real gonna check shit. my mama. I like real that. shit. Niggas be scared to check their mom. Real shit. Who's that on your mom? Hey, I fuck. Hey, I fuck with this nigga. Yeah, what? Bro, 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 you understand me, nigga? You know what I'm saying? This <laughs> nigga understand me. Bro, I'm coming to my mom like, hey, what's up, bro? What you... Hey, so... Yeah, you gotta check hey, hey, up, bro. Tighten up, what you want? <laughs> <laughs> Tighten up. Hey, nah, so I'm taking my shirt and my pants off the fight. What you want to do, man? Hey, nah, so, so, so real you shit, on, you want to on, on, on a real, when it when, it, my hoe, I'm, I'm turning when, it, when it come when it come to stuff like that, bro. At the end of the day, if, if you live with your woman, bro, mm-hmm. y'all situation, y'all partnership, y'all love, whatever y'all got going on, that's what you gotta protect. Your mama had her time. She, if she was with your daddy or not. When you when she raised you, she did her job for you to be the kind of stand up man that you is today. Yeah. So when it comes to something as far as disrespect, if you don't, you can't tolerate that because yeah. because why? my daddy didn't take it. If you give somebody an inch, they'll take away. I'm, 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 I'm gonna be real with you, bro. Some you real shit. Piggyback, piggyback on some real miles. shit. <laughs> to what to what Mike just said on some real shit, bro. It's like it's crazy because y'all don't even know, but a lot of niggas don't know the situation. Your mama will do certain shit. To your female mm-hmm. for you to react to see mm-hmm. like you know what mm-hmm. that's the one I swear to God my mom used to do certain shit to for me to react and I never used to react until my mama did something with the female I'm with now I was like hey mama chill out and she was like oh yeah mm-hmm. mamas that's do the get one. jealous of their mm-hmm. son's girlfriend yeah it's Correct. Thing, especially unless, single mom and let's think yeah. about it for months your wife was pregnant and your mom was acting funny you should have cut and, sh- and nip that shit in the butt I don't right give a fuck if you wasn't pregnant don't talk so, to my bitch like that but he what the fuck wrong with you mother Ma, you can't, mother you can't give me something she give me ma <laughs> oh god she could but that'd be weird <laughs> nah, oh, wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute you have to take it up let's put him on a white no, no, guy no, no, no. <laughs> it's like we just drifted hold oh, on yeah if he said it's too long <laughs> nigga, yeah, yeah. this nigga said shut up nigga, shout nigga out. Tokyo <laughs> drifted but nah real, but real shit though she definitely he definitely yeah, shout yeah. out cause like y'all boys said you should have been checked your mama a long time ago mm. you know what I'm saying let's get into the next alright so the next one is am I the, mm, okay, so anyway, this bitch sleeping with my sister's husband. I am 27, I'm single, and I have decided to stay that way since my sister, 30, married the love of my life. I have known her husband since I was 10 years old. We were childhood best friends who had quickly become a family friend and had met my sister through me. Us three would always do everything together, but later that changed once I entered high school with them. I wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend until I was in high school, but we had confessed our feelings for each other a couple years prior to that. So we had officially started dating my freshman year. We dated throughout his remaining high school years. We even went to prom together. Our relationship was better than ever, and my entire family knew how much he meant to me. He ended up going to the same college as my sister. It was our first time being long distance, and we were trying to make it work. Sadly, we broke up his second year of college. I was still very much in love with him, and we had a couple conversations planning our future to get back together. Since he was attending the same college as my sister, they started to talk and hang out frequently, but I didn't think anything of it. But months later, they came home for the holidays together, which I confirmed that they had been seeing each other for a while. <clears throat> I honestly didn't think it was going to last long because he and I prior had conversations of him saying he'd get back together with me. To make clear, my sister knew nothing about these conversations. 
No, my sister knew about these conversations. I'm sorry. Until a few months later, my sister and he announced that they were getting married, which was too fast for everyone in our family. And we questioned why, to which they had revealed to our mother that she was eight weeks pregnant, which she didn't tell the rest of the family including me, until she was showing, though had I had already known, which is another reason I didn't speak to her about my feelings, considering there was a baby involved. Fast forward, they are married, and my beautiful niece is six years old now. I've gotten better at letting things go of these lingering feelings, and I didn't know, oh wait, and they didn't feel as suffocated as they did so many years ago. Sadly, it didn't stay this way. A week ago, my sister went on a trip, which had left me now in charge of picking up and dropping off my niece to school because my sister's work schedule. Though a few days ago, he came home early than usual, and we got into talking, and the topic began on how we used to date, which we never really brought up since he had been married to my sister out of respect of their marriage. But this day, we just mingled. We talked about how we still had feelings for, for each other, and we reminisced about our past life. I foolishly confessed to him that I never really stopped loving him. I didn't date him much after our breakup. And this led to him telling me how he also never stopped thinking about me Let's and our relationship. So, which, anyway, it ends up, I felt Man. awful. It ended what up the up fuck is it, a two-week description? It ended up with us sleeping together. It's a long ass Walk out. All right, listen. Right. Listen, all right, hold on. <laughs> Well, let's get to the Hold on real quick. What the shout fuck you looking at? Our, shout out to our white so listeners. So, pretty much, this, That's clearly this a white person. girl, this, this is a real her, story. This is her yeah. boyfriend, yes. Let me say something. Who be telling y'all this? Oh, let me say something. <laughs> let me say That's something. I want to know. This let me crazy. say something. Baby, you need to speed up with the shit you talking about. All you had to say was. <laughs> it was I fuck, Listen, all you had to say was, I fuck LeBron. She was dating my sister. I used to date the nigga. Bitch, rock out. Cause yeah, guess what? Let me tell you something. That's your nigga. Yeah, rock out. She copying you. But he and bitch, and sister. bitch, and bitch, he looked like, and she looked like me. The sister was five for you. So guess him. what? He really just fucking you too, bitch. Everybody shout like out me. in this situation. The nigga really shout out. You really having both the best of both worlds. Rock and that's out, really mama. fucking green. Listen, rock out. But <laughs> rock out, out, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, if if them hey, wheels ain't six. been rolled in a long hey, time, six. rock out. All right. Why are you gonna catch situ- situation like this? This is why I don't talk to no girl who's been around my homies or you know what I'm Thank saying. Or in the same circle. Let me tell you why. Especially if if I'm taking you serious, because at the end of the day, being a human. All it takes is a split second for you to look at a person Infidelity. just a little different. Infidelity. And, and, and then that happens. Yeah. The reason Infidelity. why a lot of cheating coming on is is literally because you get your, you talk to a person. Oh, I had a cool Infidelity. conversation. Right? And then Infidelity. next thing you know, like, oh, dang, I like talking to him. Now I'm excited about talking to this person. And then the next thing happened, you know, y'all stumble up each other. And then, and then guess what? On some real shit, you know, real the situation. On some real shit, on some real shit, infidelity can be, uh, like, you can fall for infidelity in any situation. Easy. Right? But that was the smart Dumar. Now, the me Dumar, I don't give a fuck. Don't tell this bitch we talk. Don't tell this bitch we talk. I I hate a bitch that be like, oh, I used to talk to him. Bitch, no, you, you didn't. used to talk to me. <laughs> if I didn't fuck you, if I fuck, listen, a lot of things that females be saying, like, no if we didn't, mm-hmm. if we didn't fuck. Because he talked to my sister. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, hold on. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Get on your grown man, Dumar. Goodbye. That was the old me. <laughs> I am a completely faithful man now. <laughs> I don't live for Oviana Smith. But look, this is the thing I'm saying. I hate a female that say, oh, he used to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, why does it matter? Bitch, you might have been a stepping stone to my wife. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I might, you might be the sister. Yeah, they don't want to hear that one. <laughs> you might be a stepping stone. Bitch, you might be sisters with the girl I'm supposed to marry. You know what I'm saying? Your or I might, I might supposed to marry you, but I got to go through something. In order for me to take you more serious, mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying. Y'all ever seen the movies where the nigga used to talk to the girl and they date the girlfriend and they break up? Boomerang. And they, boomerang. And they, it's mm-hmm. called a boomerang effect, bro. Yeah, that's that's you Eddie Murphy. Maybe yeah, I need literally. to not. To, maybe I need to take you as a joke in order to take you serious. People don't understand that. You need to take shit as a joke sometimes to take it serious because guess what? Right now I might not love you. I'm supposed to, but we might have to go through some shit. 
for me to figure, figure out. It out. Hey, 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 she still fought. So with me. I ain't gonna lie. One thing about it though is you can't get mad if she decides that she don't want to sit and wait. Real spill, oh, and that that's shit. both that's Thank that's both you. sides because at the end of the day, nah, but bitch, wait on me, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. I'm, 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 I'm like a three no, hour. No, I'm a three bitch. I'm like Thanksgiving food, bitch. Wait on me. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, bitch. Wait on me. But no, nah, on, on some real this shit. This dick is wakeful. Wakeful. This dick is wakeful. <laughs> Wait for <laughs> Hey y'all do, y'all no, y'all no, y'all be doing the words right Y'all do the words right yeah. Di- now make sure y'all put all the U's on it Wait on me and the This L's. dick is wait for L two Oh and the O Oh You gonna wait on this dick bitch Look at my- So when I fuck you <laughs> When, when I, I fuck you, okay, yeah. when I fuck you, <laughs> nigga said, "What y'all drinking?" When I fuck you, I that, this man. gonna be everything. We drinking skull you. vodka, man. I, and on some real <laughs> shit, on some real shit, I'm gonna say something off topic. If I feel like I like a bitch, I'm nothing in you the first time we fuck. <laughs> I'll be on that. I'll be on that. I just want to be together. I want to see how you. I want to see how you handle it. I want to be together. I want to be together. I didn't tell you a lot about a bitch. You gonna call me for a plan B? Bitch, you better use plan C. What you mean? It's the first link and you nothing. Bitch, gonna be hey, 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 you gonna get a plan B? I said, bitch, you ain't got a plan A. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first plan? If plan B didn't work well, out. I ain't gonna lie. If I like you and I, yeah, and we been drinking, I ain't, when they bring I don't need liquor. The I first did, time. I like, that's in God's hand. The first time you nothing in the middle. Well, that's that's in God's hand. But let me tell you something. Y'all if like God this. didn't want you to get prepped, let me tell you something. <laughs> Y'all niggas, women, they gonna take a plan B if they really want to. Y'all take Another to Another off y'all topic. Stop trying to save these hoes. <laughs> if Jesus couldn't save these hoes, oh, what make you think <laughs> oh, you can Lord. save them? Hey. What make you think you greater so than listen, Jesus? Y'all nigga? need to check if y'all No, fuck work, that. If Jesus, if Jesus, cuz, listen to me. Listen to me. Cuz, listen to me. Listen to me. If Jesus can't, I want everybody to listen to me. If Jesus can't save these hoes, why do you think you can save them? What the fuck make you think you greater than Jesus? Whoever nigga? do our bitches, I feel so bad for you, baby. No, you should feel great, cause bitch, um, you gonna have the world, bitch. You gonna have the world and the moon. I'm listen. I'm so fucked up about my bitch. Listen, <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> this is my seventh time. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I am, hey, hey, hey. I want y'all that? to keep getting clips of me saying I'm fucked up about my bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm know. fucked up about my bitch. We know. <laughs> and also, right, bro, I, I love I'm you, baby. I'm fucked up about my bitch. I want to hit on some. Hey, I know, I know you love his girl and everything. I am. I'm fucked up about my bitch. Hold on, hold on. We got to stand on business now. I can't. I wanna, hold on, hold on. I want to give Mocha Banks her flowers for being one of the most beautiful dark-skinned women <laughs> in the industry and a black woman because we love black women on this pod. Sure. And I'm sorry. I know you said you don't follow the dark skins. But I ain't even seen your girl, and I don't think she could stand next to most of us. She can't. Listen, she can't. Listen, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this thick, black, dark, beautiful shit. I'm just saying, you know. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. And there's no disrespect to Mocha. There's no disrespect to no female out there. But I, I'm the type of nigga when I lock in when I. Correct. I lock in on my female. She's the most beautiful thing in my eye. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm and to be. I understand. My female might be might not be the you feel me? She's very beautiful. But look at reality. No, she's very beautiful. <laughs> my bitch is very beautiful. My bitch is that. My bitch is the one. My you bitch is that way. her. My shit, bro. My shit is the rawest thing I ever seen. That's the reason why I'm fucking with it. Cause I'm mm-hmm. the rawest thing in the world to me. You know what I'm saying? So. I understand there are other females that also are beautiful. I understand there are other females that also can fuck other females that she, also can she do this. Apple your eye. Bro, not even the apple of my eye. Yeah. Cause like this, apple. Man, listen, but this whole just that. Like, she but just don't be bashing dice hey, skin. Hey, I ain't bashing no dark skin. I ain't bashing no white skin. I just know. Fuck, bro, we can bash fuck, white skin. Fuck cool. a light skin. Fuck a white skin. Fuck a bright skin. My bitch so raw, bro. I'm fucked up about my whole. Like I had to throw the hoodie on, nigga. I'm fucked up about my bitch for real. <laughs> I can't wait to see this girl. I'm gonna tell you why I'm fucked up about my bitch. 
I'm giving your girl all the praise. No, I'm bro, because so I, I ain't gonna. And then guess what? If I love a female, bro, and I always and I always tell niggas this shit right here. I'm gonna get to this point. I'm gonna let you go. Yeah, yeah, my you're fault. Good, you're good. I'm gonna go to this right here. I can only focus on what I can control. Right. I can control my heart. There you go. My heart is I'm fucked up about you. I'm fucked up about everything you do. I'm fucked up about us. I'm fucked up about our bond. Yeah. I'm fucked up about my bitch for hey, real. Hey, Mike son. and the homeboys, how y'all feel about this nigga? Cause <laughs> Mike, have I ever been? Mike, have I ever been this fucked up before? Be honest, cause that nigga Zay came around. Mike, the have, so Zay, <laughs> Zay, have I ever been this fucked up before? Sure. Listen, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm the type of nigga. <laughs> listen, real, I'm the type of hoe. Okay. We go to the B and B. I fuck a bitch and pass. All wrong. He put her name out there, so yeah, yeah. He put her name out there. Yes, he did. You said the government. Vianna Smith. 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 I am fucked up about my bitch. I don't care. I'm fucked up about my whole. So, so no cap, hey baby girl. You know I love you for for sure, like all the way. And I'm I'm messed up by my girl the same way. Correct. Um. One thing I can say, it, it's a lot of beautiful women out here, bro. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Don't don't get me it's wrong. Me alone. But but when there you start to uh, yeah, huh? it's out. when when you start to give notice, me from over there. like okay, the twenty percent that's over there like. ain't rocking with my eighty percent. That's when you know, right? You know okay. what I'm saying? Like I, I don't have to talk down by nobody. I just say, look, what I got going on, it fit my situation. We work with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't believe in 50-50. I believe in 100-100. At the end of the day, you're going to put what you what your 100% look different than what my 100% So you're like a girl in. that can't pay bills, you'll put the whole thing. That's not what he's talking about. I know, I know. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it, how, how, how I look at it is like this. Whatever Give your situation money. is at the end of the day, as long as you putting a hundred percent towards it, it ain't even gotta be money. Right. Like my girl, I don't need you to fold clothes or cook. I cook. I don't need you to do all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But when I get home after a long day and I've been stressed dealing with customers, dealing with this, talk can I come me. home? Can I lay? Can talk you rub to my ways? Can we talk? That's what I like. You like, feel like, me? I'm gonna love like, you. We each other close friends. I hear real yeah. stand up nigga. He be in the crib with his old lady, cooking, oh. cleaning, doing everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, I can do all that, bro. Nah, listen, 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 real shit. If you be around me, them two niggas be around me. I'm either. Making love to my bitch on the phone. Or I'm arguing with my bitch love. on the phone. <laughs> it's either damn, baby, I can't wait. wait. It's either baby, I can't it's wait. It's, can you get my vape for me? Shot the vape. But, um, can you get my vape for me? Okay. I'm on some shit where it's like, I'm like, I'm like, ha, psh, Mike that hurt me. Miami, huh? What you mean you need a charger for? It? For the vape. Right, so give it to go me. Ahead and give Hold, let me say something. Let me say something real quick. Yeah. It's either um. It's either it's like my fault. I will let you get your last one, but it's like it's either I'm making love to my bitch, like yeah, but I can't wait to get home and see all my fault and shit out you, or it's either bitch, I wasn't out there with no motherfucking bitches. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. Terry don't talk Tight like shit that. Guys. You feel me? Yeah. You feel me? But no, I I like when it comes to. Like when I got a girl, I do feel like my girl like is like the most finest bitch in the world. Like yeah, like, I do feel like that. So I can't understand where y'all niggas coming from with that. <laughs> this nigga sick. But yeah, so let's get into. Shout out, shout out to my three bitches. Shout out to your five Wait, bitches on, out there because they shout out their girls. I got one. Shout out to Beyonce Smith. Shout out to Beyonce Smith. Shout out to Beyonce. No, we shout not. Shout out to Beyonce. <laughs> shout out to Beyonce. 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 Shout out
This that was episode, my last 27, baby. That nigga whispered to the robber, don't take the fire, nigga. I still need gas, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, baby, I can't nigga believe you doing this. <laughs> like, nigga, nigga leave $7. Nigga, pistol me, like, you done went way too far. <laughs> <laughs> you done picked the dog who got some really... Hey, nah. Hey, hey, off topic, hey, off topic, y'all. Hey, off topic. I appreciate y'all for having me on here. Yeah, I appreciate some of y'all for having me on here. Yeah, hey, off topic. I, I appreciate y'all for having me on here. Yeah. I appreciate Swank. I appreciate Mocha. I appreciate both of y'all. But can I say something, please? Mm-hmm. I'm fucked up about my bitch, bro. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Listen, listen. Bro, I really am, bro. Listen, like, this one, this one bro, so, bro, listen. My homeboy is so tired of me saying that shit, bro. Like, this, this is what I want you to do. Because we're going to get in the band 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 I'm going to cry, bro. So give us a song you dedicate I'm, to your bitch. Um, um. He said I'm finna cry. Uh, no. One more time. Um, In the spirit of Valentine's no, um, Day. Uh, uh, let's get married by uh Jagged <laughs> Edge. Okay, I fuck me with you. Me and you all to the end. We ain't getting no young girls in life, but I do it. Do it. Yeah. 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 All right, so we're going to go with Jagged Edge on going one twenty twelve Cupid, cuz. Oh, hey, yeah. We're going to go on one to my fault. The the island. Island. Because I can see, that's why I used to hear the girls high school. Why they always saying. put me? Please think da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm doing the Girl, if I told you I love you. That doesn't mean that I don't care. No, no. And if I told you I need you, why do you feel that I never be there? Maybe I'm so tired of it. Yeah. Let me say the female. Let me say the song to my bitch. Let me say the song to my female. Let me say the song to my female. Let me say the song to my female. I know you caught me cheating and you tired of it. I'll be honest with you, bitch. I know I crossed the line. Don't want to fuck me no more. It's cool. It's fine. Before but, uh, you go, baby, can yeah. we fuck one, one more, more time? time. <laughs> what's what's your Valentine's Day song? It just take one fuck to get back in that relationship. What's your Valentine's Day song, Mo? Um, I don't know. I really got one. Mine's is um. I don't, I don't want no whips to tie me down. What was song is that? Oh, Put that your loving on me, me bitch. <laughs> Put your loving on me, bitch. Yeah, nah, I like that song. That yeah, put that loving, bitch. What's yours? Valentine's Day song. Mm-hmm. Um, we gonna go. Uh, my heart, my, bitch, bro. my heart. It's calling out for you. Oh, no. oh yeah. yeah. Arms of a stranger mm-hmm. calling out to you. I miss my bitch. Shout out Kevin Gates. Okay. I miss my bitch. My Valentine's Day song, I'm going to go rate it out. Well, the good pussy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a freak, right? Yeah, that's a freaky yeah, man. He was a freaky ass nigga. He took all the dinner date with him all the calamari. So listen. Man, this been an amazing episode. I appreciate y'all boys pulling up on us for real. We know Super Bowl Sunday. Everybody want to get out of here. Any last words for the camera? Um, I love my bitch. <laughs> I got seven words. Go ahead, Carl. Me? Uh, listen, I ain't going to lie. I appreciate y'all for having me on here. You know what I'm saying? I'm up and coming, trying to make it work. But, uh... Nah, it, it never see good. yourself as up and coming, bro. Say you a star. Yeah, I, I, I know. You're not up and right, coming. You're not up and coming. I feel that. So I'm a star, in the words, do more. Appreciate you. But nah, it, it, it's good for for people to connect. Like you know what I'm saying. Like us, us being young, yeah. us us tapping in with each other because it's it. A lot of the times, it's people downing each other versus building each other up. So I appreciate y'all for what y'all do. I want to give y'all y'all flowers. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all young, y'all doing it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all articulate yourself very well. Mocha, she read like she reading to the third grade class. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, to, 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 to all y'all, Dumar. Hey, look, man. We need more people like you in the I business. As far as, you know what I'm saying? People who put their 10,000 10, hours in and put the work in, you feel me? It, it's time to go for everybody. So yeah, I man. appreciate y'all for having me. You could have said third grade ESE. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What I want to say. You see how men act? You know what I'm saying? What I want to say is 
I got seven words. And I'm gonna say something else to conclude. I'm fucked up about my bitch. He fucked up about her. I really am. Like, I feel like she drive me to be the person I am. Nah, honestly, bro, I feel like she drive me to be the person I am. Talking to her makes me get up and go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I got something to prove to her and her kids. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Um, to every artist that's upcoming, bro, keep going, nigga. Like, bro, I swear to God, bro, my mama is light in that tunnel. 41 days ago, bro, I swear to God, nigga, I was going to give up this shit. Mm -hmm. and, on the, and, and 40 days ago, I got my first deal. Mm -hmm. and, then on this, and then on January 1st, I got my second deal. That's so it's like, bro, it's like at the end of that tunnel, bro. It's, it's a hard path, bro. It's mm -hmm. a hard path. It's hard. It's going to be niggas that doubt you. That nigga right there. Michael Jones Jr. I don't give a fuck what no nigga say, bro. I, no, <laughs> listen, real shit, bro. Nah, I'm being honest. I'm being honest. I'm being, I'm being, no, I'm being honest so a nigga won't even know, bro. Like, I'm being honest so a nigga will know for real. That's the only nigga that's been able to push me. When I had nowhere to stay, I had no house. I had no car, nothing that, but none of that shit, bro. Mike was sitting in that studio with me, bro, and that shit really like, it's like, it's something to my it heart, bro. So, yeah. That nigga was sitting, in, knowing he had somewhere to go. He yeah. was sitting in the studio with me, he bro. He a good luck charm. For, I swear to God, bro. That nigga's my good luck charm, bro. He was sitting there for me for with 20 hours. Hey, cuz, we got to come with another hit. Come on, cuz, we got this shit, man. Me and Mike would talk about the shit I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. Like, cuz, you going to be so lit, cuz. It's going to be like, cuz, he was like. Cause he was like, he was like, cuz you gonna have so many deals, cuz so you gonna have so many shows. I'm like, cuz I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody mm -hmm. need a friend like Mike, bro. I want some real niggas. Like, oh, I, I mean, I'm just being honest, bro. Everybody yeah. need a friend like Mike. Oh, I'm sleeping because it's like this whole time. This is Mike J1K. That's Mike yes. J1K. <laughs> that was, I was like, I know him. I went to school okay, with him. Okay. I know. And it's like Mike was that nigga where it's like he'd tell me. She did say even, that you are, even yeah. days. <laughs> Even days and Mike could tell you break days I want to give this shit up. Like yeah. I'm done with this shit. Mike could be like, nah, cause your sister wouldn't want that. Nah, cause your family wouldn't want that. Cause tighten up. Mike, Zay, Yak, Doc, Jew, TT, all the niggas burn. It's like, if you have a supporting cast, always build yourself around niggas that wanna see you win before they win. Cause mm -hmm. guess what? The niggas mindset be so golden. That nigga Mike mindset so golden, he told me, cause if you win, I win. Imagine that, bro. Like, you if you like win the Super ride. Bowl, yeah. your homeboy that don't even play football is like, Kyle won the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's love. Because too many niggas want to be the man. So having niggas, want, yeah. Having you know how many niggas I've been around that want to be the man? Yeah. You want to boss up your life? I got to that with me. Nah, bro. Yeah, but yeah, Bad man. bitch, six flow, eating Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Oh hey, before we go to shout out to Gloss Up, man. I meant what I said, baby. Hey, let's so let's let's close this bitch out. Now you know I like Gloss Up before you know. That's cap. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and close it out. Yeah, we got a church behind us, man. We got Jesus! We they got parlays. So we gonna Nigga, Paul A is the I guarantee he say something about Jesus ten oh, times. Oh, nigga, I, nigga, I call it. Nigga, he gonna say nothing. He gonna say something about God eight times. Jesus, Lord, Lord forgive sure. me. Lord forgive me. All right, Lord forgive me. Moka got a piece, so we gonna close out. So it's been a good episode. It's your boy Low Key V, and it's your main man K Thrizzle. And it's me, Moka Banks. And this is Paid and Bays. Yeah. Paid and Bays, hell. Get money and wash your ass, hell.